morning show. Wake the hell up. Wake the hell up with your girl Bonnie Murano. Another victory. Oh. It's real radio. Are you up? It's the things that you want really, to hear. not me. <laughs> Uncensored, uncut, unfiltered. Most important, though, it's real. Wake the hell up with me, you girl, Bonnie Mercado. I make radio real again. Mainstream to underground. Bella so make sure you tune in. Are you going to come up? And wake the hell up. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake <laughs> oh, it feels so good doing this again. So wake the hell up with me. Monday through Friday. Wake the hell up! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We wave the terrible towels once again. For the victory of still staying undefeated 9 and 0, oh, and it feels even more amazing. All right, but before we get this party started, whew, I worked, I did a workout right there. I will say hello to our Wake the Hell family, but if you're tuning in for the first time, this is a show about a whole mix of things just to keep the positive vibe, have fun, be positive, tune out the negative, join the chat. Remember, we are 18 and over, but there is regulations, and you just got to have fun, and then you'll see what those regulations are. But otherwise, Nightbot will get you, and sometimes Nightbot times you out for no reason at all. Anyway, but just have fun. Let's have fun with the vibe. Don't skip commercials. Remember, thumbs up if you haven't yet. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, do that as well. Let's see. What else do I need to tell you? Hmm. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I know we're going to do some wait the hell up facts, and then I'm going to introduce you guys. So let's just tell everybody what we do. Now, you guys are the smartest people of the world, geniuses, I like to say. So it makes my life even more difficult to find these wait the hell up facts that you guys don't know. They're the most ridiculous things sometimes that I can find in the internet, but I ask you guys to refrain yourself from not cheating. Don't talk to Bigsby. Don't talk to Alexa. Don't talk to your phones. They talk back. Do you get it? No devices. No asking a friend a neighbor, <sighs> and no opening up that dictionary encyclopedia. Okay, you guys got it, and I see you. Who was here? Creamy he was like, oh, my God, oh, my God. I know you wanted to be like, you're late, you're late, you're late. That's really what you were saying. But I see you, fam. I see you, Josh, Josh, to mid, J-R. Were you still playing like zombies up to like 2 in the morning? Because <laughs> I know when I went back in Breezy's room, oh, wait, there she is. That's really creepy. I was just about to talk about you. It's a good thing I wasn't talking, you know, any bad things about my kid. If you guys didn't know, that's Breezy. But anyway, did you guys play like really late, Breeze? The zombie? <laughs> did did Jay Yarb had to rescue again? You were like, it was you and Mercedes that was kicking ass. And Goofy Goober, shout out. Thank you for reviving me every second. I appreciate that. I don't know how the game does. Does that like take other other people's lives too or like their energy, because I felt really bad for everybody reviving me, because I totally suck. No, but they can die. So, and, and that's what happened. <laughs> you got, you didn't want to leave a teammate behind, and then you were dead too. And who else do I have here? I know, I see you guys, I see you guys party too hard last night. I didn't really party too hard. I just already knew it when I was playing the game. I was kind of like, mm. remember, we already had a game, so I kind of knew it. When I left the room, I was like, oh, I don't know about this. And then when we finally went to sleep after, you know, watching TV and stuff, I just knew it was going to be a late morning. And I was right. I did wake up and I was like, okay. And then I said, no, yeah, I'm definitely going to get another little sleep here. And JD, hello. How are you? I see you. <laughs> Creamy's like, I need no introduction. I mean, how can you? Look at that name. And we do miss Mia. We do miss her. We are still putting our positive love, positive vibes for Mia to get better soon, guys. Right? She's going to beat that Rona. She got this. 
exactly creamy why are you judging me i like to party with zombies well then again you guys are the wake the hell up family so what does that say about you <laughs> I love you guys. A massive party and snow zombies, please. Yes, I know. I don't make the games, okay? I just try to play them. All right, now let's find our wake the hell up fact. What are we going to find here? What is going to be so interesting that you guys are like, yes, yes, that's it. I was thinking it all through the weekend. You must give me the answer. What's it going to be? All right, let's see what I find here. Oh, and I have raspberry zinger tea this morning. That's what we've been we've been sipping on. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay. What's it going to be as a wake the hell up fact? Now remember, no cheating. First thing that pops in your brain. First answer, please. Let's sure. see. Is it one bite? Mm, I don't think so. It's turkey. That looks pretty. But there's the eggs in it. That's why it said one bite. The rest of it. Mm, yeah, no. Not right now. Eat it. No. She's such a bad influence. I'm not supposed to. Stop it. You can eat it. I can cheat on Thanksgiving. Certain things I shouldn't have. Stop it. Brianna, I really want to bite it, and that's not nice. It's just there's egg. so much there's egg, though. There's much. so much egg. The turkey's fine, but there's so bite, much it's not egg. Even a whole egg that you're having. Not even half an egg that you're having. What do you guys think? Is peer pressure? Peer pressure 101? Should I do it? Should I? I'm scared. I don't know what she did. I, no, I know, but I'm supposed to not have so much. It's turkey. Yes, there's turkey. Let's see if you can see the meat. It's like a turkey egg. It's called a frittata, right? Yes. Is that what he made? I know. I smelled it this morning, too. I was like, oh, dad's a, cooking. A half of a half. So if you eat that, good. But see, that looks like Mom a lot of yolk right there. I'm nervous. I'm trying to eat so good to get rid of this Rona damn if you don't eat it, prolonging effect. Hey, Jaden, how are you? Hello. I got to be careful. She got to shove it in my mouth when I say it hello. You didn't even know that was a turkey egg? No, not a turkey egg. It's turkey burger. Like that's turkey burger in there. See that burger. All right. And there's really no cheese on there. Either. I just feel like that is a little tiny bit. What about the oil oh. right there? I'm going to eat it. I'm nervous. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what did you say, creamy? You're sending me a big for the creep that you found online. Hold your down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here eating turkey. Mm. I'm tasting the after effects of oil and other stuff that I shouldn't be having. <laughs> you only did it. I feel like now I need a napkin. I can't tell if that's my lip gloss. I did a little tint this morning. Thought I'd give you guys a little color. Um, I can't tell if that's what it is or if it was the oil or butter on it. I know she's trying to take me up. Creamy, you see that. You sense it. I better watch, right? Don't let her cook for me. She's going to put like arsenic in it. Oh, now I'm worried. She was a little too happy giving me that. Good morning, Fiaz. I see you. Remind me never to share food with you again. Don't you dare. It just depends on what it is. You could have, like, wrapped it in spinach. Then it would have looked a lot, right? Then it would have been like, oh, this is wrapped in spinach. It's okay to eat now. All right. Let's find it, though, guys. Our first wake the hell up back of the day. We got to find it. What is it going to be? Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Something you guys have no clue whatsoever. And Fiaz, I don't even know what you were trying. I think you're just saying, I'm coming back. Mia, is that you? You said the only good thing about hospital is free Wi-Fi and remote control beds, right? You're like, oh my God, this bed, I can like put it at every angle I want to. <laughs> and then you don't have to pay bills at the end. Wonderful. How are you feeling, sweetheart? We we're all praying for you. Yeah, spinach is really good. I like spinach. And yes, we do have spinach. The whole thing is spinach. I love it. I love it. Say hi to Mia because she's in the hospital. Hi, Mia. I feel better. Please feel better, love. We miss you. We miss your cheery self. We all know what it's like to not there. feel good. I'm not supposed to have coffee. Coffee's not good for her. Ah. <laughs> oh, you're so lucky. I was going to take the blanket and go, woo, I could have caught her right before she ran. Little brat. 
shit, Brad. That's what I got to deal with. She feeds me a tease and then runs away. No, <laughs> I did eat before that, but I didn't have the frittata because I was like, oh, I don't know about this. All right, but let's find it. What are we going to find here? First wake the hell up fact of the day is... Dun, 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 dun. So, up, oh, Nightbot got you. Breezy's too young for coffee. I know, right? And would you say me and not too good? You will be going on the ventilator sometime today, scared to death about. No, no. You're in good hands. You're at the hospital. You're going to be okay. You just need to breathe better. You need to focus on your breathing, too. Focus on your breathing. Hear your breathing. Hear your breathing healthy. Remember when you breathe. Remember when you took deep breaths and stuff. Remember that and keep picturing that. Because I'm telling you, this Rona, too, is it gets into your head. Don't let it get into your head. You're fine. You're going to be okay. You just need to believe it yourself. We believe it for you. All right. Hmm. What are we going to find here? What is something I know that you guys were like, yes, yes, that's it. That's it. Hmm. What about, I don't know about that one. I'm not sure. Let's look up something else. Oh, let's see. Um, let's see what this one's about. Oh, right? You could have all our breaths, Mia. We got you. We'll breathe for you. But then don't exert yourself. That's the best thing. Just relax. So just breathe nice and slowly. Just keep breathing in nice and slowly. Let's see. How about... No... Not that one. Okay, here's one, Mia. We've, we've been inspired right now. We're thinking of like the airlines. It's an airline question. Only it's about the enemy. It's American Airlines. It's not you. Not the Delta. The Delta is way better. <laughs> and would you say read your message, Bonnie? Just wasn't the mood to answer. Same with, oh, that's okay, sweetheart. And it's okay. Like I said, I wrote you and I did not know when you were going to reply back. And it's all good. I know what you're going through. It's all good. <laughs> Am I getting all overexerted over that turkey? Yes. Exerting myself from that turkey bite. <laughs> all right. But I got it. American Airlines. Apparently, in 1987... They came up with an idea and they said, we are going to try to save money. So how did they save the money in 1987? By doing what? And how much money do you think they saved? Yeah. Now think about that in general. I know you're like, what? What did they do? Okay. I'm thinking they started charging for blankets, pillows, like an extra, extra money right there. I'm thinking, and I'm thinking they saved a good 7,000. That's the first thing that came to my brain. Remember, that's how you do this. No thinking too much. The unsalted, they're nuts. So you think the salt that they were putting out on those salted peanuts that they hand out we're, we're like, no, nope, we're going to save money. Let's just get people a little bit healthy and not have them salted. <laughs> That's what you're thinking. All right. And how much money do you think they winded up saving from this, uh, from this switch? And again, we're talking about American Airlines in 1987. Oh, my God. That feels like such a long time ago. You know the answer. <gasps> See? 
Mia is one of the smartest people here, and I knew it was going to be hard to stump you, especially when we started talking about the airline business. I knew you knew this. All right. Um, do you know both of the answer, or you, or you just know the money side? <laughs> I know it wouldn't be fair if you said it. No. So are you knowing the money and what they did to save money? Or you just know part one? <laughs> What do you think they did? I'm going to say also they probably started, I, I know that this didn't happen for a while though when they started charging you for your bags, but I'm going to say, I'm putting it out there, they charged bags. You're like, no, but I remember it was 45K, 45,000, that's how much they saved? Okay. Two cents every 15 grains of salt. Imagine the person actually being the counter on that. How tedious that work is. It's like, wait a second, was that a crumb of salt or was that just, I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> Losing fuel. Well, fuel could be expensive, right? So, okay. So meaning they were losing fuel, like they said, we have to save money on fuel. They had to get cheaper fuel. Or do you mean they said, Let's do for like a year that we're not going to go to certain places and save some gas money. <laughs> Mia's like, every person knows this. Every airline person. All right. Well, we did not know. We don't work on the airline. But is that what it was? They removed one stupid olive from first class. Every airline person. See, is that like part of the test? When you get into the airline business, they're like, we're going to teach you something. It's something really stupid about American Airlines, but they did save some money doing it. So what can we do? <laughs> what can we do as a team? And they ask you guys for like your, your comments and you're like, well, what if we took just one lettuce out? <laughs> the one from the spring mix. Take one of the green ones out. They'll never know. Exploring with Kenny. Good morning to you, sweetie. I know it has been a very long time. Thank you for coming in and saying hello. All right. Think about it. Are we all, we, we all know me is probably correct with this one, but yes, good question. Creamy. You said, hmm, you love green olives. Was it green olives? Was it purple olives? Was it black olives? Which olive was it? Do you think? <laughs> you said they removed one olive from first class salad. Okay. Now see, it wasn't just all the salads. Imagine if they did every single salad and not just the first class. Think about the money they would have been saving. Aha. Uh -huh. And good morning, Bruce. Oh, doesn't it feel good again to be four weeks again, undefeated, only team in that four weeks to be undefeated with our nine. Oh, it's so good, especially the way that game went. Was it not nice to have a score of a 36? We were kicking their ass for a very long time. I mean, we still kicked their ass up to the end. They only had 10, but wasn't it nice when they had zero for a while? It was like, yes, this is how our Steelers play. And Crawford, good morning to you. You said nine and bleeping zero. Let's get 10 and oh, can you feel it? I can too. It's the Jack Off Snacks we got. And Ridge Pettit, hey, hey, good morning. That game was easy, right? It was just like, we're not even playing football. What is this? <laughs> That's because Big Ben got some good rest. Our other teammates got a lot of good rest. And because we, we well, we still won. But to us, it feels like it was not a great win against those cowgirls. So that's why we had to come through once again. All right. Mia says, true fact, after American Airlines did this, Delta added five olives. <laughs> they wanted to prove, like, we don't need to save money there. Let's give all our first class five olives. But again, what about not just the first class, man? Oh, full oh, rare. They do not suck. Suck on the 9-0. and oh. How dare you say the Steelers still suck? Did you see the way they played? We still got some things we got to do, but come on now. And to see like the whole team come through, not just certain people. That's beautiful to see. Give everybody a chance for their glory into that touchdown. Into the end zone. 
And what did you say, Creamy? The what did you call your opponent next week? The Jagoffs, the Jaguars. Yes, that's that's what I called them. Love you guys so much, but you know, you're the enemy this week. Nurse Nancy says hello. Hello, Nurse Nancy. Take care of Mia for us. Not, not like that's like a lot on your plate now. The world is telling you, take care of Mia. Give her extra jello. Give her, give her the works, man. All right. Teach her, like, treat her like she is above the first class of the airline. <laughs> Everybody say hello to Nurse Nancy. Okay, what'd you say, Crawford? Joe Burrow woke the hell up, savage beating from yesterday. You think? He was like, what happened? And everybody was worried, too. They were like, oh, you better watch out for that quarterback. Please, please, you better watch out for our Steelers, man. And it was rainy, windy, and we still had – I like when Ben was like, I didn't even know where I was throwing the ball. It was so windy out there. I was like, yes, you did. You know what you're doing. You know how to play in those weather conditions. That's why I wasn't worried at all. Wow, that's graphic. Hey, my towel rolled off. See, that's why I like to put it like this after a while so it doesn't roll off. This one already rolled off. Are you kidding me? Hold on. I've got to make some adjustments here. There we go. All right. But it didn't fall on the floor. It falls behind me in the chair. It knows better. And what'd you say? She needs to make it back to you? Exactly. She will. She will get out of Canada and she will be heading to California because nurse Nancy is going to get her well. We, we know it's all about the nurses. I mean, the doctors, eh, but it's mostly the nurses. <laughs> and what did you say, Bruce? You said, no, he said Steelers suck. The Steelers are super great. I, I know it's just, you know, people are just so hating on us because we are undefeated still. <laughs> and GG. All right, Timmy, Gigi. And what'd you say, Mia? She heard that, Bonnie. She says, I'm the best patient any nurse could hope for. Yes. Yes, you are. And, and you can beat anything but. Come on now. It's Mia, damn it. The best anything. Give her everything. The works, man. The works. Just be like, would Mia want it? Just bring it to her room. <laughs> Am I not reading it correctly? He said, no, he said the Steelettes suck. Did he? He even tried to he even tried to call us like, but I'm a Steelerette. Yes, but our team, no, it is men's football. Cowgirls are the ones that have the females on the team. Get it right. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. Full Rare was really messing with me this morning, I see. Okay, the engine of the jet is crazy. So you're thinking it definitely still has to do with fuel. All right. Well, I would think, and again, Mia being in this industry, she know what was up. So let's see what it says here. Oh, crap. What happened to my question? There it is. All right. It says, um, actually, according to this, it says it was fact number 536. <laughs> It says American Airlines saved $40,000 in 1987 by removing one olive from served in first class. Who thought about that on the team? Like you think of budget cuts and stuff, but did you just look at the olives and be like, we were just spending way too much. These first class people have way too much olives on their plate. <laughs> like it's so easy. D3, good morning, no, not Steelers, boo, Steelers, yay! And Justin, good morning to you as well. Uh, uh, you were trying to say about a rainy day, Fiaz, but it looked like it. It looked like you were posting a link, so Nightbot's like, no, no, you can't do that. My video's not clear. Am I not clear? It's here. What do you mean it's not clear? I mean, the picture was blurry. That's because I was waving the towels and I was trying to get Bella in it. Like she was almost in it. Then she wasn't. So is that what you mean? Yeah, it's kind of pixelated. I, I, know. I know. I was just like, you know what? As long as we're not pixelated now, the screen, the thumbnail picture, that doesn't really make a difference. We're all good. Everybody say hello to TJ. <laughs> 
He doesn't want he doesn't want you seeing him. He just wanted to see you that he he's he's a fat ass and got some more food. <laughs> and what did you say? Mia, you said at 3 p.m. Eastern, I get put asleep. I'm so terrified of this ventilator crap. Doctor said I can go on it from anywhere from three weeks to three months. It'd be okay. It's going to be okay. Nurse Nancy's going to be by your side. We're here by your side. Just go to sleep, but you're going to go to sleep just thinking of those deep breaths that you're taking. And you're taking it, not the machines making you do it. You're doing it by yourself. You got this, Mia. You got it. Three months, I know that seems like such a long time. I don't think it's going to be three months, though. It's not going to be three months. They're going to be like, holy crap, this girl is strong. Come on, you're young, you're strong, you got this. It's not, the Rona is not going to put you down for that long. It's like, it, it, it's actually, it's like how we've talked about before, like a zombie. <laughs> Speaking of shooting zombies last night, it's like, it's like that's the Rona around. And, and it's, it, it will pass. It will. It just sometimes takes a bite out of us. And, and takes us for a little ride. And then it finally just goes away. It lingers a little bit on some people because apparently I have some lingering shit from it, but you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay, Mia. We got you. And what did you say? D3. You said your girlfriend uses one of those machines for sleep apnea. You'll be fine. Oh yeah, that's right. We, what was the movie we watched the other day? It was something with girls. It was called The Wine. It was an older movie, but it was called like The Wine Village or something. It was the girls got together and they went to the vineyards in California, but they went for a vacation. They did like an Airbnb thing. And that one girl slept with one too. And I told Brandon, I said, that looks like you actually, because they say for snoring to do that. But I'm like, what if that's just good that helps you breathe it might not be bad to do it every once in a while and what did you say creamy you think he left already but but you will check all right please please check only 11 tell that where is everybody and i even got here later so more people come on now wake up wake up wake up wake up <laughs> it's okay. It's because some people have to work. They got to study for school. They got a bunch of stuff they got to do. So some people come high and they come in, they go high and they say bye. Or some people come in and they can't even say anything, but they will uh, comment later or they will catch up all the way on Friday to catch up on the whole week. That's what they do. You said free fire airplane gauge. Is that what you're saying? Kind of, I don't know. Autocorrect's not friendly with that one, but remember, it's not you, it's autocorrect. And would you say D3? Yes, yeah, she sounds like a team of lumberjacks when she sleeps. <laughs> and so she definitely needs that machine. You're like, thank you. Honey, breathe better. And, and would you say, Mia, my work has been amazing. They will still pay me full, sir, as they should. Come on now, it's not your fault you're down. And, and, and not trying to, you know, blame the airlines or anything, but like you got sick on the airline. So, of course, it has nothing to do with you not doing your job. You wear your mask, you wash your hands, you sanitize. It's just you're working in recycled air. So it's definitely not your fault. And they should. And I'm glad they are. Otherwise, you're going to have to give me custom service number, some supervisor. And I talk to them and be like, what's going on? You better be paying me right now. And when you say creepy, you said that was supposed to be a text response. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> How am I supposed to know all these things now? And, and what did you say, Bruce? You said that's not a ventilator. It's called a CPAP, and it is completely different. I was going to say it is kind of different. So thank you, Bruce, for saying that. It's more of like an oxygen machine that like goes over your nose. It kind of, if you look at it, you kind of would think that, but a ventilator is really, really going to help you breathe. It's not so much your breathing, it's the ventilators really helping you. And the other thing, I think it's your mostly breathing into the oxygen with that, with that CPAP machine. <laughs> See, Mia always has her spirit. She's like, just got back from a, from a five mile jog. I'm doing great. Yeah, Justin, she she is going to do a lot better. She's just right now. She's just right now in the hospital because of the Rona. And, and now and now they want to make sure her breathing's OK because her breathing's not sounding good. So they want to take double precautions, triple precautions for Mia. So that's why they're going to put her on the ventilator. Today, I look so pretty. Well, thank you. Maybe because I got some more rest. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Well, it is time to find Wake the Hell Up Fact number two. All right. Something that you guys don't know. I know. When I pulled that one out, I was like, yeah. I really had a funny feeling. I said, Mia got to know this. I'm sure they all talk about this. It's probably like the talk of the airline behind the scenes. Do you know America Airline? They jip people out of olives just to save some bucks. <laughs> all right. Now let's see. What is it going to be? Again, guys, the first thing that pops in your brain. We got this. Justin's like, let's go for fact number 13. <laughs> It doesn't really work like that. The page that I'm on, it's like all mixed and stuff. Yeah, this one doesn't even say it's a fact number. Okay. So I don't know where that that number came from. But let's see. What else can we find here? Hmm. Let's see. What is something you guys don't know? And what, Creamy, you said when the sense of humor goes, that's when it's time to worry. Exactly. And, and we know Mia is still her beautiful self. And Bradley, you already know it. Thumbs up. Go Steelers. Ooh, nine and oh feels so good. And what did you say, Mia? You said, Bonnie, no, it's not a CPAP. It's a ventilator. But they put me to sleep to put me in it and keep me asleep. Yeah, so they can monitor you. And Anna, good morning, sweetheart. No fun games? This is a fun game. Making your brain work, but not too hard because that would not be fun. And please tag your country. All right, Justin, everybody tag their country. That's a great idea. We're in Las Vegas right here in the United States of America. Las Vegas, Nevada, if you guys did not know. And no, Bruce says, no, you should see what a ventilator is. Watch The Good Doctor on TV. Oh, I love that show. I know what a ventilator is. And they show people going on a ventilator and they put you to sleep and shove it down your throat. Very scary to watch. Well, that's why you're asleep. Because anybody coming at you, are you kidding me? Mia would already be like. What you trying to do? <laughs> That's why they need to put her to sleep. I was like, what are you doing? No. Because think about it. Anytime you have to do something like that and it goes anything by your throat, it's, of course, that would be scary. So you have to go to sleep. You, you, would, you would fight too much. And Adolf, well, hello. Is my daughter still single? You are 18. Well, she is still single. She's not looking to mingle. And she's 23, so 18. I mean, at least you're legal. But yeah, you would be able to get in the bars. Think at least 21. Okay. And now we're going to find this. Okay. Hmm. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. No. Not that either. That's something you guys would know. We've got to find something harder here. I, I don't know. Maybe he's related. He's really nice, though. Or maybe he's just a huge fan. Or maybe he does want to be him. Maybe he wants to be his body double and he's starting on YouTube. Justin, we all want to know why you have that name. Was that a birth name? Or did you just decide that's going to be your birth name here on YouTube? Okay. And you guys keep talking amongst yourself, figuring I'm finding something really good here. Okay, here's something I have no clue, never even heard of this. So this is interesting. Are you ready? Wake the hell effect number two. So astronauts, they do something inside their helmets so they're able to scratch their nose. Now, I never thought of that. Thinking of an astronaut, they put that big bubble thing on their head. It's like, how would they if they have to scratch their nose? Do they just like keep 
doing one of those, which get really annoying after a while? Do they try to push into the helmet more? Or what? It says, according to here, there is something that helps them scratch their nose. It's put in their helmet. But I'm thinking of like all the astronaut movies and all the things I've seen. And it doesn't look like anything is in front of their face. So would it be like on the side and it's like a little button they pull out and it, it, it winds up being a scratcher? <laughs> you know, like one of those scratchers that you get, one of those back scratcher things, but it's like a miniature one and it comes out so you can scratch your nose. Right? Did I watch the last two episodes? No, we got to catch up on The Good Doctor, but I do. I love that show. That is a good one. See, Ami is now asking for help. Sean, good morning to you. You already know it goes. Steelers. Okay. Creamy's like, maybe he wants to be the olive in B. Oh my God. Why did I? <laughs> oh, Creamy, I swear. And remember, it's all for the love. We're a family here. Okay. I, I know. <laughs> Mia's like, wait a second. I'm laughing, but that made me hurt a little bit. But at least you're still laughing. Keep that spirit high, Mia. That's what you got to do. That's how you're going to get through this Rona. And what did you say, Bruce? Cleveland Browns just shut down their facility due to COVID. Here we go again. It's going around the NFL. Extra, extra precautions. And as you heard, the Steelers, we were on top of it. The tongue extensions. Oh, gosh. All right. And Justin, you're shouting out. You're like, I'm in India. Shout out India. Okay. Bruce says it's current and about COVID and yes, losing patients left and right. Oh my Lord. It's, he's like, why am I not surprised? I can't even talk. So, so surprised about that. Whoa, we couldn't get that one out today. Yes, Sean, but I know I can get that one out. Go Steelers 9 and oh, God, it feels so good. And Agra, I think, or were you trying to say you agree? This autocorrect's not helping me with that one. All right, but keep thinking. What do you think that an astronaut has in his helmet to help him scratch his nose. What do you think? I really see it as like almost like a, a Swiss army knife, but instead of like, you know, flicking it, it's like buttons pressed. It's like, maybe there's more things in the helmet that we just didn't know. I don't have any astronauts as friends, so it's not, I could never ask this question. So we're just gonna have to believe what the fact tells me and maybe we'll ask a little extra in a uh, big speak. Maybe she'll have, she'll have a word for us this morning. <laughs> But what do you think? And what did you say? Body nurses and docs come in my room in Astra. No, I know. When I was, when Breezy and I were in the hospital too. And then when I went um, uh, in the urgent care, he, they had the same thing. It's like, it was the crazy. It was like something out of a movie. It looks like astronauts. They have like this bubble over their head, but like the wire is like back here whatever that's attached so they can breathe, but they have to like, they're like screaming at you. And then you have to scream at them because they can't hear. Cause I guess <clears> the <throat> air that's going in, cause you can hear it. Like, shh. it almost sounds like they're like Darth Vader too. Pretty crazy. So we should ask them, ask your nurse, be like, is there a way you can scratch your nose? Otherwise they got to get the astronaut helmets. Otherwise you're screwed for your shift. You're like, Oh my God, my nose is so itchy. How are we going to do this? Do you bang on the glass? <laughs> hoping and maybe thinking, you know, how sometimes our brains, we think, and we could think that our nose is getting scratched at the moment. Okay. Bruce says, Mia, make sure it's a last resort to use a ventilator. It can cause major permanent damage. So he's like, make sure you're getting second opinions, third opinions. They'd be on top of it. What is nurse Nancy saying? What, what is her opinion? Because it is true. Only when you absolutely have to do that. So they're talking about later on today. So maybe the doctors, the nurses are still talking about me. And maybe they're like, hmm, I don't know. Let's see how she pulls through today. That's why I keep breathing. Nice, slow, steady breaths. You got this. <laughs> 
And see, Creamy, don't make her laugh too hard. We need her to breathe. Breathe through the laughing. We have the strength that's coming to you, Mia. You got this. All right. And now think. Think about those helmets. I'm really trying to think about this. I feel like there's like an <laughs> attachment that would be like on the side, maybe on like one ear, something like that. Everybody needs money. Yes, the world's definitely in a place where everybody needs money now. And what did you say, Mia? You said, Bruce, thanks. So three doctors, and it is. I am terrified because I'm aware of the damage it can do, but doctors think my lungs will collapse if they don't, if you don't go on the ventilator. All right, well then, if they're saying that, then definitely that is your choice, but you're going to be okay. All right, you got the wake the hell up family. We're all on your side. What's not, what's not better than that? You've got a family that's worldwide that we're there for you. So when you go to sleep, you will see us. And Lewis, well, good morning to you. A COVID cough? Yeah, it's not, it's not cool. It's not at all, but it is real. So anybody that didn't think this Rona was real, it is real. And please keep going out the house if you have to go out with your mask on, please. And keep that social distancing. Very, very important. Breathe like I'm next to you. Exactly. <laughs> think that we're all there and we're all breathing with you. Deep breaths, deep breaths. And thank you, Lewis. It is a very, very good morning. When all of you are here, how could it not be? Right? Exactly. Okay. But now think about your second wake the hell up fact. And think about astronauts or think about how doctors are looking nowadays with COVID going around. They're looking like astronauts. And what did you say, Mia? Bonnie, your last flight was seven crew members are in the hospital with this bullshit. Oh, my God. I was going to ask you that, how many other people got affected. What about also the flight? Besides the crew members, do you know how many people off the flight, too? It's crazy because I know with the flights you have to test negative. So, see, that's what I mean. That's why it's just like you got to do what you got to do, but you're just not sure. You're just not sure. Because like somebody can get a negative test and then they could have just got it. And then it's like they're really positive, but it's saying they're negative. That's why still social distance and your mask as much as you can. Everyone is wit witnessing losses in 2020, except for the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's right. Football season is going great for us, especially after that last season. Right. Don't we deserve we deserve some great victories. And Lion of Judah, well, good morning to you. We're in the last days right now. Read the vet. No, see, I don't want to think the end of the world is coming. Even if it is in, in the Bible and all the words and what people say, I'm not, I'm not ready to say it's the end. No, we have a strong family and we are still pushing through this. <clears throat> we got this. Remember, life is always full of challenges. And we are definitely getting challenged a lot this year. But we're pulling through it. And what were you thinking, Creamy? You were thinking more intimate than that. More intimate? <laughs> I kind of know what you were thinking about, too. But come on. We, we all got to give our love to Mia, too. We all got to give her our breaths. And a face shield, too. And gloves. That's what I mean. Mia, this thing is airborne. And there could have been, it could have been something literally that even though you had your gloves that later on you could have washed your hands, but there could have been something. Maybe when you change your glove, you touch something or just when you were breathing and you can only, your mask and shield can only do so much. The worry of thinking about it, it's like, how did I actually, who was anybody coughing on the plane? Makes you go crazy, your brain to think how you caught it, sweetie. And what do you say in Lion for all that have sinned and fall short of glory? You're, you're really, you're really on this. Well, you know what? And I appreciate your belief. I want everybody to believe in something, but I am not going to, I'm not going to say it's the end of the world. Nope. I feel like there is a lot of inclination telling us things that are going on, but I think it's a lot of, because we're due for a lot of change. So that's why all of it's coming to, my mom always says you go full circle in life. So when you're going through some bad times it would be one year. It could have been five years ago. It's going to come around again. But it's like when the circle comes around again, this is when it's going to be good. So it's going to be okay. We just got a lot of hurdles that we're still going through. That's it. And as long as we keep our faith, we keep our smiles, 
We keep our good energy. We're here as a team. We got this. Family, we will get through it. Oh my God, Flo Rare, it is so good to be back and feeling better, but I'm still not 100%. Not just yet. I got to go um, this week. They got to do, I got to go for a chest x ray. I got to do some breathing machine thing I got to do. And what was the other thing? Oh, yeah. And then blood work again. Because they, they still don't know. They're like, we don't understand it either. And even even uh, my doctor got it three months ago. So he's kind of understanding what I'm going through. So it's kind of like helpful when somebody kind of knows. But then it still sucks that they're like, we don't really know what else to do for you. It's like my mom keeps saying, they're going to put you on medication for your nausea. I'm like, no, mom, there's, there's really nothing you can do. I told you, the doctor even said, there's no medicine. It's, I, I'm past the medicine. It's just like I've got to deal with it and get stronger and get it out of my system. Did I earn myself a thumbs up? Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Lion and Judah. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate that. All right. But while you're talking about thumbs up, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. Also, do not skip those commercials. That's how we get paid here. Remember, not just me. It's other YouTubers out there. So don't hit that skip button. Let those commercials play at least 30 seconds out of your life. I think Bella might be coming to say hello. Are you going to say hello? You love the fam? How about you at least tell Mia? Say, Mia, Mia, get better soon. Say, we love you. <laughs> See, she's talking a little bit. <laughs> she wants me to keep petting her. That, that's what's happening right now. She's very spoiled over here. The spoiled puppy in the corner. Am I the best mother? Well, thank you, Fiaz. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh. Damn you, Nightbot. That wasn't a link. I know it put dots in between. How dare you? How dare you time out that saying I'm the best mother? <laughs> yeah, Nightbot still needs to make adjustments. All right, guys. But think about it again. Second week, the hell up fact of the day. What do you think that astronaut, a astronauts have in their, in their helmets that help them scratch their nose? What do you think? You know what I just thought of too? I thought of maybe they have a little extra air that they can push through and it kind of like whoosh, blows right by the nose. So it's like, if you felt a lot of air on your nose, it, it might help with the itch. And the more I'm thinking of that, I think it's going to make your nose itchy. You're going to feel like you're like, okay, lower the air, lower the air. <laughs> All right, sweetie. And thank you, Lion. I'll check it out later. And what'd you say, Full Rare? You said, glad you are back and feeling better, but I am protesting of getting rid of the stupid mess. No, full rare. We got to do it for right now. It, it, it's gonna. It's helping some of the spread. It's not like 100%, but it's helping a little bit. Just that little, little tiny bit. And stupid mask, come on, man. Get your wake the hell up mask, okay? I have a double mask here because I have my Steelers under. But if you just have the one mask, you could say, wake the hell up. <laughs> and you're saying full rare would be like, wake the hell up. Do we really have to wear these masks anymore? Please, people. But if more people would wear the mask and, and constantly um, practice the social distancing, it wouldn't be so bad. But here in Vegas, unfortunately, and when we came back um, from my doctor's appointment, we did go past the strip because we're like, let's just go past the strip and go this way home. And guys, it was so friggin' sad to see. It was awful how many people were so close to each other and did not have any masks on. And then some people, which, oh my God, it drives me insane. It's like, okay, you're going to put the mask on. Okay, can we put it on the right way? So many people were like this. You saw the thing down like this. Now I get it when you're getting ready to eat something. If you're taking a drink, that's what you do if you're in that area of what's happening. But when you're like walking around and you're outside and you're around people, it's all the way up where people have it like this they, or they got it like this. That's my favorite. When, when people walk around like this, like what the hell? It's not supposed to cover just your mouth. It's supposed to cover all of your nose. And yes, when you have the double mask on, it's a lot more muffled and you do have to, you have to scream a lot louder. But I'm not playing, man. I'm doing the double mask thing now. 
I'm about to get one of those one of those bubbles too. Forget the shield. Those astronaut bubbles, man. You can't hear anything though. That's the only bad thing. But you definitely feel like you're protected in that thing. And what'd you say, Creamy? You said you better read it, Bonnie. I know your Bible is next to your Steeler Shrine. <laughs> I have no Steeler Shrine. We just have so much love of Steelers throughout this house and a few Vikings along the way. And good morning, Allie. I see you. Did you miss me? I told you guys when I did the gaming last night. That's why I tried to make up for you guys and, and do the gaming for a little bit longer to make up from Friday. And then I figured today, but I already knew it. I said, we're just going to be a little later, but that's okay. I'm still coming in. It looks cooler than that. Does it? Okay, Mia, you're so tired. You have to go take care. Yes. And say hi to Brianna and my hubby. I will, sweetie. It's okay. You'll be back soon enough. We'll see Mia and be like, she's back. Hoping for the best. It will. We just put some positive love, great energy to you, Mia. Come on, everybody, bring in hugs for Mia. Oh, Mia, Mia, we got you, girl. We got you. It's going to be okay. Again, you're going to go to sleep, but you're going to think about the happiest thoughts that you can think about and keep holding on to that strength, okay? And then the next time you'll come be back and you'll be like, holy crap, I feel like I'm breathing better than I did from the beginning. You're going to be okay, sweetie. We got you. And Creamy says there are sagging masks to match their sagging pants. Oh, my God. I know. I'm just like, or it's like, put the damn mask on, right? If you got to adjust and you twist it a little bit on the sides, that's all you do. That's how I told you how I do the double mask. I finally figured out you just got to like twist this over twice and then it stays secure and you do the other side and see, I even did like double color. I'm like, let me do black on this side and then do the white on this side. <laughs> Make it a little different. All right. See, Bruce, we all we all give you lots of love, Mia, that you're going to get through this. You got this. Remember, you got youth on your side. So you're good. What happened last live? You leaving fast? OK, so we did have not not to get into it, but we did. We did have um, a death in the family. Not it was not due to Rona, but it was on city side in Minnesota. So it was it was unexpected. And. That's why. So it was pretty much we were dealing with that. But it's OK. And we're back. Well, I told you guys we'll be back. Anytime I leave, obviously, that was an emergency situation. And sorry, I didn't get to close it out, but I was preoccupied. And Breezy, Breezy said goodbye to you. And I'm sure she did. I'm sure she did a good job. But she was telling me she didn't even know how to turn you guys off. <laughs> So I was like, that was, that was fun to see her right before we went. It's, it's okay, Mia. But I really want you to get better, man. We need your strength. You're going to get better. So it's, it's almost like, think about like this. You've been working so hard, Mia. Think about like this as a vacation. That's how you got to look at it as. Be like, okay, this is just going to be a vacation. I need to relax. I need to not stress. I need to not even think about anything and just sit on this. It's almost like, you're, you're on, you're on a ride to a vacation. You have no idea what's in store for you, but you just know that you need to just keep your body as relaxed and good as you can. So you will heal and that's it. And you're going to be okay. That's how I had to keep looking at this. My mom kept telling me that too. She's like, you know, you've, you've done so many things and it's true before, like, you know, this whole 2020 was like entertainment business, everything down. I literally, I was running around all over the place. So it, it was like, okay, I see. I got to just slow down and take a break. That's how I just look at it. And that's it. So it's just a big needed vacation for you, Mia. And that's how you got to look at it. And we're missing you for like, all right, man, your vacation. You only got like another week on this vacation. You better come back. <laughs> all right. And R and R. And happy, creamy thoughts. <laughs> well, she has so much of the family to keep her cheered up. You already know. When you're going to sleep, too, that's all you're going to do. You're going to see our faces. You're, you're going to hear us. You're going to be laughing because the shit that creamy says and, and the trolls that have we banned in the past. And you're going to sleep and have a nice, nice sleep. And films. Good morning to you, sweetie. All right. But we are still on our Wake the Hell Up Fact number two. What do you think astronauts... Well, 
they don't actually do it, but whoever invented the thing, whoever makes these helmets, they do something. So astronauts can scratch their nose. What do you think it is? Hmm. I swear, there's no more. It's like, what? What could you do? I almost want to be like, they have nothing. They're just screwed. It's kind of like when you have a cast on and you're like, I got to scratch. You put like a hanger in. You try everything you can do. But how can you do that in an astronaut helmet? And Travis, you already know it. Go Steelers! You know what's going to happen to Mia? When, when you awake, you're going to start screaming Steelers, and you're going to be like, what happened? I'm not even a Jets fan anymore. I don't know what happened. <laughs> and what films? Yes, how do they scratch their nose? How do they do it? Are they just? Do they just know once they put the helmet on that once they they applied for this astronaut job they just know that once it goes on they better scratch their nose before because they're screwed. Oh, and thank you, Lion of Judah. We appreciate that, Sabia. The Holy Ghost has called you a comforter, and He comforts us through our trials and all. There you go. And sorry for being gone. Think you meant to say so long, Travis? Well, I already know. Are you feeling better? You getting better? And Taz, well, good morning to you. Right? Wasn't that good, creamy? <laughs> and what did you say, Lion? You said instill your soul when the dearest friends depart and all the darkens in the veil of tears. That's why, no matter what, you always have to have your faith, of course. And I feel like a lot of your faith is also when you do have a great family as well, because you're all believing together, no matter what it is you do, because you're always looking out for that person. And that's what we do as the Wake the Hell Up family. We always look out for each other, no matter what. And day by day, Travis, that's it. Just take it one day at a time. And your music is getting better. Nice to hear, Taz. Good. And I think, Michael, that has what happened, but there's still, I don't even know. I'm so over. Remember, election is done. Politics are done, man. We don't have to talk about politics again until January 20th, when we'll see officially. And film said they can't due to anti-gravity. So, so your answer is they really are just screwed. <laughs> if your nose itches, deal with it. Wait till you come back to uh, planet Earth and then you can scratch your nose. Oh, my God, that would totally suck. I would feel like, too, like you get all your scratching out, you know, you're scratching your face, you're, you're doing all this, and then the helmet goes on. And you're like, damn it, why is my nose itching? <laughs> and, well, good morning to you. Back from hell. No, definitely not hell. Come on now. All right. Well, I'm glad I'm glad you're here because now you can put in a guess. What do you think? Are you right? Are you ready for this one? Because you know you've been thinking about this throughout the weekend. Astronauts, how do they actually scratch their nose? Is there something that they put in their helmet? What is it? What is it that will help them? That's it. I know. I know. Ed's like, whoa. It's like she knew what I wanted to learn. <laughs> All right, Sean, cool. When I creep on you guys, you guys got that stuff to share. I will go check that out on the Insta. I got you. And thank you, Travis. I appreciate that. Tell everybody to subscribe to this amazing channel, right? Or otherwise, it's like, what are you doing, man? And it's free. Do we mention that? Just hitting that subscribe button is completely free. Same thing with the thumbs up. And don't forget, don't skip those commercials. Premium members, thank you. Already know you guys are not getting commercials and appreciate you. You should have known this. I know, Creamy. I'm just like so disappointed. I'm like, I can't believe Creamy does not know this answer. Like, what the hell? You're slacking. <laughs> Am I a supreme girl? Well, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Or you could have been saying super also. Either way, they're all amazing. Thank you, Fiaz. Oh, Ed says astronauts do have to. Do, don't have to scratch because they are such exceptional people. They never have a scratch at all. <laughs> that would be something I would totally want to mess with them. I'd be like, come on, you know, you got to scratch right here. <laughs> Am I a football keeper? Well, thank you, Fiaz. I like that title too. 
put the Steelers in front of it and makes it even better with their hands. <laughs> Bruce is like, they just go in. They just say, well, I'm not supposed to do this, but let's just, let's just get, get, get in this little space here. <laughs> I was thinking, um, what is it? Don't they have like space uh, ice cream and space cookies? Okay, so so picture this. They come in those packages, right? You got to be careful because you want to scratch the shit out of yourself. But they come in those packages that have like the really sharp edges. You got to be really careful. So maybe they maneuver that through <laughs> under the suit to their nose. But again, with caution, because you can definitely scratch the shit out of yourself. Okay, film said astronauts scratch heads, not nose. So they just say, screw it. If they got an itch on their nose, it's just, they just pretend that they're getting it while they're scratching their head. <laughs> it's like that, that mind trick. It's like, I got it. I got an itch right here, but I'm going to scratch this hand and pretend that I'm good. And what'd you say, Allie? You said Phil West is an American astronaut who served in space and he lived through some situations in which he needed to scratch his nose, especially. And in these cases, he used the microphone to scratch his nose. Ah, there you go. Okay, I didn't think about that. So they do talk and, and they do have some kind of microphone in there. So that would be an idea. I'll just kind of get it to the side and kind of scratch. Oh my God, just thinking about it is like, don't put that helmet on. And what did you say, Bruce? You said once in space, the cabin is oxidized and helmets are off. Yeah, but what about when the helmets are still on? What do you do then? What do you do when you have an itch and you can't scratch? <laughs> because they think all the time. Because they are. Astronauts are supposed to be extremely smart people. So they should have, they should, they, they have, um, whatchamacallit, uh, they have an equation for it. <laughs> it's like 2x to the squared to the 10,000 to 5 minus 2 equals W. <laughs> and then they figure it out how to scratch. They just say, screw it. They're like, we're screwed. <laughs> or they'd be like, why are you so red? Because they've scratched so much before they actually put those helmets on. Okay. And Ed says, people who become astronauts are usually chosen to be Navy SEALs or some top operatives. They are also immune to torture. I never knew that. I mean, I didn't know about being in the service and stuff. But a long time ago, when I was a kid, I did want to be an astronaut. I wanted to do it so bad. And I was, was really good in math. So it was like, then I was like, oh, I don't know. Things just kind of changed. <laughs> Then you grow up and go, yeah, I think I'd rather just play one on TV. I don't know. It's kind of a risky job. But I would not mind. I would not mind to go to space one time to just be in that whole like non-gravity atmosphere. But not just like the ones they have where you can like fly and stuff. Like really actually experience it and put on that really, really heavy uh, gear because that shit is heavy, man. Especially when they put that helmet on, you know, you know they've been working out. And Bibe, Bibi Conda. Well, good morning to you, sweetie. Okay. Creamy says, I would think that anything extra in the helmet, it would be a safety issue. Yeah, you got a point there. You definitely do. Because they only have what they're supposed to have in there. And any extra. Yeah, think about it. If it was a flap or something and the button got hit wrong and it would come out and it was like, oops, I didn't mean to hit that button. Could always be a malfunction. Are you from India? Well, welcome. Thank you for coming on in. Okay, what'd you say, Ed? Most people would become claustrophobic as soon as they get into a space suit. Yeah, now see, I've wondered about that too because sometimes certain situations I get a little claustrophobic, but for the most part, I don't know. I think I would still be good with the suit. I think it's the helmet part that it's like, whoa, you know, because it's kind of like, yeah, now, now you're kind now you're kind of claustrophobic because now you've got something that's over your face that you're not used to, that you can't take off for the moment. I am from originally a place called New York. I am here right now in Las Vegas, Nevada. So we went all the way from the East Coast to the West Coast. Okay. 
Ali says, there is another way to rub your nose, which is in a small device called a Valsalva device, and it is placed near your nose, and it's the main purpose is to equalize the pressure around the ears. That's interesting. But how big is this device? And and you place it near your nose. So what do you do? Like put it like right on the side? Ha ha, that could be it. So maybe it's not what they put in their helmet. It's what they put on before. All right, are you guys ready to find out this answer so then we can find wake the hell up fact number three? I know, I know you're super excited about this. Okay, Ali says, but it is necessary. The nose can be scratched with it. Okay, because it's a device. You can kind of be like, what if you can't get that? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just thinking about this. Like, how do you really get that itch? A space suit is actually a tiny spaceship. It kind of looks like that. Can I teach some Hind, Hindi, some Indian language? Can you? You can. You can teach us something. We love to learn new stuff. All right. But now we're going to learn what astronauts do here. Astronauts, how do they survive through the scratch of their nose? Well, according to here, it says, astronauts have a patch of Velcro inside their helmets. They can scratch their nose. Okay. Where is this Velcro located? Because... Unless they're not being accurate, we've seen astronaut movies. <laughs> because I don't remember seeing a piece of Velcro. And where would it be located, though? Because you're thinking the bubble is going in front of you. So where would the Velcro be? That's that's weird. We're going to have to ask Bigsby about this, and we're going to have to look up a picture and see if we can actually uh, see where this Velcro is hidden. And Creamy, what would you say? There's a great documentary on here, 10 Reasons Not to Go Into Space. It talks about how hard it is to have to use the restroom and how hard it could be to have sex. Oh, I could imagine that. But yes, to go to the bathroom. Oh my God. It's like, it's like one of those things like for a road trip, you know, you're going to go on and it's going to be for a very long time. There's like a lot of shady restrooms and you're like, you really don't want to stop there. So that's when you're like, okay, we peed before we left. We don't have to go. We're good. But with an astronaut, it's not suit. That reminds me of when I um, did the show for Sebastian and they had me in this one piece and it was like a corset that was like super, super tight that you couldn't breathe. Yes. Just like the old school ones with the bones and they tied it really tight. And then it was like the onesie, like a, like, a like a, like a leotard, but not ones with legs. Like, just like, like looks like a bathing suit almost. And I remember I would pee before I put this thing on, but it would just never fail. It was like, I didn't even drink anything. And once they tied that last pull on that string, it was like, did they just push on my bladder and my chest? What just happened here? I was like, oh my God, now I have to be. <laughs> like, this is so not fair. And I remember, especially like when we did the thing and I'd walk on stage, I'd be like, okay, I'm good. But then it'd be like, okay, now I got to sit in the chair and in front of all these people and they're doing that they're showing what they're doing with the makeup. And, and then the guy does the hair. And I remember sitting there it was just this one time. Because other times I was okay, but it was just this one time. I was literally trying to picture everything in my mind that would have to do with nothing on my mind to make me pee. And then sometimes during the shows, like they would be funny on stage and they'd make me laugh. And oh my God, I was like, please, Bonnie, do not pants. You are wearing this thing. Everybody's going to see it. It was like please, please, please don't let me have to me pee. And of course I didn't pee in my pants, but let me tell you, as soon as that show was over, I was like, who's untying me? Release the beast. Oh my God. I had to pee so long too. You know, when you have that pee, that's just like lingers forever. Yes. The moments, man, the moments. So that's why like, cause we're like wearing a space outfit. Cause I couldn't do anything for like, cause let's see, we started, the prep was like at five in the morning and then then you got your little break. It's like within 
I think it was like three or four hours, but it was still like, once you're already dressed, it's like to, to take that thing on and off was a nightmare. And it wasn't even so for me because I couldn't do it. Like you literally needed somebody to help you take this thing off. But it was also like, I felt bad. I'm one of those nice people. I felt bad for the people that had to even trust me. So I'm like, I'm not going to have to do that again. But maybe they pulled it a little too tight this time and it just pushed on my bladder. <laughs> But I remember that day it was yesterday. I was like, okay, don't move the legs too much. And I was just trying not to move at all. I was in my just position, like, okay, please let this show be over soon. <laughs> and what'd you say, Ed? You said each spacesuit is two hundred million dollar investment. My God, I never really thought about how much they were, but they're a lot. For a while, Bibicon, is it BB? Kananda, and, and please forgive me when I mess up your name. I mess up a lot of things here. Um, it was for a while when I was a kid. I really did. I really did. I just wanted to like escape and go into space. But uh, probably a lot of it because kids were mean and I was bullied a lot. So I kind of <clears> used to just like, I could just be an astronaut. Get the hell out of here. Damn mean kids. And what did you say, toilet brush salesman? Because good morning to you. You're like, you're not gaming? Thank goodness. <laughs> Hey, I didn't do that bad for a first time now, at least for that game. Yes, we, we had fun gaming last night. It was. It was fun. It was fun when I finally was figuring out, okay, we got to aim and shoot at the same time <laughs> and reload. For some reason, I was just kept forgetting to reload. It wasn't like just usually when you hit the button, you flick it and then it just loads for you. So yeah, I'm glad you guys had fun. That was the whole point. I was like, let's have some fun now. Okay. And let's see what Bigsby has to say. And then we will find our week the hell of back number three. So Bigsby, how do astronauts scratch their nose in their spacesuits? Okay, here's a summary of what I found. There is a little pad at the front of the mask that is called a Valsalva device. It is intended for them to use to block their nostrils so they can clear their ears, but they can use it to scratch the tip of their nose and a little bit of their cheeks if needed. I'm like thinking of these bubbles. Okay, now we got to see an image because I keep seeing like clear in front of the face. And I know they got the mic and stuff, but I got to look at a picture again. It's been a while. So I can see what the hell she's talking about, this Valsalva device. Okay. Google, show me images of astronaut suits. Oh, yeah, it's pretty dark. You can't really... You can't really see. There could be a lot going on in there now that I think about it. At least this image. Hold on. See, it's like pretty dark. Can't really see. And foodie! Foodie world, good morning to you, sweetie. And what'd you say, Bibi Kananda? Yes, same here. When Rakesh Shama, first Indian to go to the moon, got into the moon, also wanted to go to space. You did? Did all of us dream about being an astronaut when we were kids? to escape the world? Was it all because of the mean kids? Okay. They're not really showing you. Okay, hold on. Show me in the astronaut suit, the valve salva. Yeah, the valve salva device, there we go. Images. Ah, see, you got a close up. See, you don't usually see this in the movies. They don't do all this. That looks pretty uncomfortable, I have to say. That's not usually what you see. Do you see that? Looks like her nose is all plugged, man. You've been to space, creamy. And, and did you have that valve cell on? <laughs> It looks like it shoved up her nose right there. That doesn't look comfortable at all. Okay, we need to see another picture here. See, like this one. 
oh my god and you look like the suit is huge you look like from ghostbusters a state puff marshmallow look at this chick but see i don't see anything in there in this one but right like instant see there's nothing in there i'm so confused that kind of looks like me does it <laughs> take that credit I was an astronaut and sick is it sick it took? I think I'm saying that right you do know how much space is needed to stop a car traveling at five miles per hour you you can let us know I feel like we that and wake the hell up back we did something close to that before it's like space, big, old, and boring. The one thing cool is space is you can fly, right? I know. That's what I want to do. I want to fly. But I want to, like, go outside of the spaceship, and I want them to have me, like, on a string. Well, obviously not a string, but, like, a really good wire. Because I'd want to feel that. It's like, oh, my God, you're going out of the universe. Why can't I fly in space? Yeah, it's true. I know, but I'm saying if somebody really, like, I could trust them and they got the wire, I want, like, in the head in the movies, what was that one movie when they were, like, pulling them slow? My sound is cracking sometimes, maybe due to a mic problem. And it has to be a YouTube problem. We're good. We are all golden over here. I don't know. A car in space going 35 miles per hour will continue on forever or until it smashes into something. Great answer, Ed. The car won't stop in space. Great answer, Creamy. <laughs> All right, I just want to see. So I could see this device because they're not really showing us a clear image. I promise you, next time I watch a movie with an astronaut, I'm looking at their nose. I am looking all up in there. I'll be like, uh continuity <laughs> and i'm right i'm gonna write the, the production company i'm like you guys screwed up man Where, where's the valve salvo um but there isn't i'm not seeing any more pictures it was like the only picture they showed us here's one. Oh, okay i've seen them have this little round thing see that looks a little different Talk about definitely. He looks really awkward, though. He looks like he's like, I wasn't ready to put that on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's find Wake the Hell Up Fact in number three. Are we ready? Open the Gill Co. All right, foodie. I'm not sure what that is. And Art, good morning to you, sweetie. Wake the hell up. You already know it. Happy Monday, Steelers for Life 9 and oh, Yes. We are staying safe out here, and God bless you as well, sweetie. Yeah, oh, it was a nice game yesterday, wasn't it? Not at all did we have to sit there and get nervous. Not one time. No nerves at all. I felt so calm. I was like, are we really watching football? What's going on today? <laughs> all right. Now, let me find our third Wake the Hell Up fact. Let's see now. This has to be the best one. You needed my support. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, so you have to go to sleep now. It's almost 11.45 p.m. in India. Yeah, I usually go live at 7 a.m., sweetie. We went a little live. Uh, we started a little late yesterday because we did game last night. And what did you say, Art? We got to remember 9-0 and is good and better, but it's not what you do in a regular season. It's what you do in the playoffs. Exactly. But this is like, I feel like this is like our preseason before the playoffs. We're whipping that ass. We got this. And what did you say, Allie? Well, Healed Space Tourists will have a new orbital destination four years from now. It's one company's plans come to... For tuition, the startup called Orion Span aims to loft its Aurora station. Something to look forward to. Oh, Mia! She comes in with Rottenburger, didn't throw an interception. Hey, now. 
Call him Big Ben. He's not a rotten burger. They actually have a really good burger out in Pittsburgh, and it's amazing. Only they do make it rotten by putting the pork that I can't eat, so we changed the whole sandwich to a chicken at Pepe's. Thank you again, Pepe's, for letting me do that. The Bonnie Burger. <laughs> it was nice to meet you, too. Viva Kananda, thank you. Okay, Allie got some more information for us. In late 2021, and begin accommodating guests in 2022, we are launching the first ever affordable luxury space hotel, said Orion Spam founder and CEO Frank Bunger, who unveiled the Aurora Station. Well, I still feel like they have to do more um, trial and error before they can actually say something like that is safe and I'd want to go and visit and take my family. But again, safe is that key word. And they, they still have to work on that to know that we could. Same with your dream, Creamy said. The team radio announcers were joking and messing around with us very much ease and playfulness. I know. I'm waiting to see if um, Bill finally is going to say on, on the radio and, and be like, wow, the Steelers actually did good and not keep like saying how we're just like sliding through. We're tired of hearing his voice. Right, South Point, Dave. And Dave, good morning to you. Eight degrees Celsius in Montreal. Come on down. Yeah, that's just like the perfect weather. <laughs> no, creamy, you be quiet. He's like, that's my girl, the Rotten Burger. Are you teaching her things? You are not teaching me a good things now. <laughs> and what'd you say, Biba Kananda? In 2021, India is going to launch the Ganyan, which will be India's first manned space mission. Sounds cool. Okay. Art's like, hey, I'm sorry. Who cares about the space station? I really don't mean this with all respect. Everybody got a love for the channel, but that's that's my opinion. You got a lot of love. Thank you. I appreciate that, Art. <laughs> Yes, and Mia is proud with the losers of the New York Jets. <laughs> She's holding proud this season. And what did you say, Ali? You said, idea today, April 5th at the Space 2.0 Summit in San. Nice. See, April. Good things happen in April. You are just such a good influence, Creamy. Oh, that's right. She can speak some French to you. And what do you say, David? You do a small 10 camillary, camill why can't I say it? Just say, we'll just say KM because I can't say it right now. Bike ride. Have to dress warm. Are you, are you kidding me? Oh my God, in eight degrees weather? You definitely have to dress warm. Forget about just not even the bike, just in general, once you get out of the house. I feel like you're going to get frostbitten. And what do you say, Ed? 80 grand deposit to book a stay at the Aurora Station, a full close to 9.5 million. Okay, let's all go for the trip. <laughs> yeah, see, that's a lot of dang money. I'm sorry, man, for like what, a weekend? Or is that just one day? <laughs> and do I like hockey? Because you like the Chicago Blackhawks. Um, I'm not like super into hockey, but I do represent with the Pittsburgh team for the hockey. So the Penguins and we did change here in Vegas, the black and golden Knights. We'd be, we'd be rooting for them. Okay. Vivica Ananda says first, there will be two robot launches. If everyone will be good, then yes. Get them in. will be launched. Astronauts are taking training in Russia. Cause they're like, let's go to space, man. Let's do it. I don't know. There's a lot of food, though, that you would miss if you go to space. That don't matter. We are still nine and oh, that's what I'm saying. I know. And a win is a win and closer to the playoffs and to the Super Bowl. So they talk all they want. What's your record? That's exactly how I feel. It's all the people talking shit. It's like, can you hold up these hands proud and say that you are not only nine and oh, but the only ones in the NFL still standing undefeated. Oh. It feels so good to say every time. It really does. All right. Ed says, Toronto Mabel left my team for the last 60 years. <laughs> You're like, but it's still my team and I'm proud. And what, David? We have CF CFL football here. My boys prefer the NFL, though. 
well, and see, that's why great technology, everybody can be able to tune in. Affordable is a relative term. 12 days stay of our station will start 9.5 months. Well, at least they put 12 days in it. Still, that's quite a bit less than the orbital tourists have paid in the past from 2001 through 2009. That's just crazy, man. That's a lot of damn money to shell out. Trump and you guys are talking amongst yourself. Yeah, ask. Does he know, Lori? Okay, are you going, foodie? All right, sweetie. Sweet dreams to you. Thank you for popping in when you can. Art's like penguins, penguins. <laughs> All right, what'd you say, Allie? Seven private citizens took a total of eight trips to the National Space Station, paying an estimated of $20 million to $40 million each time. These private missions were brokered. That's a lot of damn money. I feel like for paying all of that, I better own the station. <laughs> but like, what do you mean I got to go? No, 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 no. I paid in. This is like a timeshare thing, but way above. <laughs> Are they, Mia? I know, you know, I've met a lot of great Canadian people, too. Are they the most polite people on Earth? Sometimes it does seem like that, doesn't it? Where is the cheerleader, Bonnie? I am here. We are cheering. We are cheering, cheering, cheering. But most of our cheers are right now. Please, guys, put all of your love and lots of energy to Mia, because she's still suffering with the Rona, and she's in the hospital. So it, it's not just a little bump on the road. We've got to give her lots of love so she can get better. So thank you. And David's like, Canada is said to be the best country in the world. I know. That was part of me that really wanted to move to Canada. Seriously. Just really did. Just want to be like, I think I just want to go to Canada. And <laughs> just change it up a little bit. And what did you say, Art? You said, I'd rather win every game. Oh. You retracted your message. Was autocorrect not friendly? I told you it's autocorrect, not you. And what did you say, Ali? By the Virginia-based company Space Adventures and employed Russian Soyuz spacecraft and rockets. There's been innovation around the architecture to make it more modular and more simple. Yes. Can they make it less expensive too? <laughs> and your brother likes the saints. They've been, they've been doing really good, too, and they do got that gold in there. Okay, now Art says it's good to win every single game, but it takes to lose one or two so we could get kicked ass in the playoffs, and, uh, and we will kick their ass, and I will take that. We will kick their ass. We are going to – we have shocked a lot of people, but you know what, Art? It has not shocked us because we knew we had it. We knew we'd get our team together and get it right, and we would kick some ass. And the, just the game that we played last week, that's what I want to see more. More of us. More of us really pulling through and putting those points on the board in the high 30s. Yes, can we go for 40s next week? I think we can do it. And what would you say, Allie? To use in more automation so we don't have to have the, the EVAs or spacewalks. Bunger said of our station. And what be Apaconda? One more information. India's first solar mission will be named at Adacha L1, which means sun in Hindi. Oh, that's nice. And it will be launched in January 2022, delayed due to Corona. Yeah, everything is delayed due to Corona. But keyword, delayed. We're still doing things. Okay. And, oh, look, David's throwing in some more language in there. He's like, como esta, Satoro? Is Arthur is your middle name? Or it's your brother's name. Nice. It's your middle name and then your brother's name. Your mom just wanted to keep that in the family. Okay. And, yes, talk amongst yourself, guys. Find out where you guys are right now. And, Sean, throw that in. Steelers next 10 and 0 Thanksgiving night. That will be 11. Yeah, that's going to be the game. It's going to be a tough game, but I think we are going to still destroy the Rappers. We're going to get that win. Thanksgiving is going to be a great victory once again. And more English where you're from, where you're at. Okay. Is it already 12 a.m.? And you're still awake. Because where you're like, I got to say bye-bye, but no byes. Remember, it would be see you later. We don't really leave here. We leave and then we're back another day. So it's not really by. Creamy said India's searching for wives and 
Oh, that would be a good reality show. <laughs> I'd want to be the host of that. And then I get to go to space and get paid for it. Yes. <laughs> and what'd you say, Art? If we went to more games, 12 and 0 automatic, we will have the spot on the playoffs. Just two more wins. And where home field advantage will even be better. That's right. Well, technically, to get to 12 would be three more wins. Right? I'm doing my math right. We're 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes. I'm just making sure. <laughs> right? We do hope Mia gets well soon. And she will. We got her. We got her in our prayers. We got her in our love. She's here. And anybody else, guys, you're going through something or anything, let us know so we can give you some energy as well. Okay. Viva Nakanda. We will, we will, we will meet again. And well, hello, Frank. How are you doing? Yes, Mia, and you won't. You will not. It's not your time, girl. You're too young. No. And Ravens lost to the... Did you call him the crappy outs last night? <laughs> I like that one. I know. It was like, oh. Uh, a good victory for them, even though I really, you know, it's the rat birds, but whatever. I'm glad you're good, Frank. Have I ever played Pug? No, as shock. I have not played that yet. And thank you. Good morning. Okay. Are we ready to find it? It's going to be Wake the Hell Up Fact number three. This is it, guys. What am I going to find that you guys want to learn? Exactly. You will be fine. You just got to keep hanging on to that faith, man. Okay. Now, what are we going to find here? What is going to be wake the hell up? Fact number three. Remember, guys, no cheating. First thing that comes in your brain, that's how you do it. Oh, and I've missed you so much too, Frank. And what would you say, Art? If we went to more games, we would automatically have the spot in the playoffs. Imagine home field advantage would be a lot better. Go Steelers. I know. Me and um, me and my friend Anthony were just talking about this the other day, too. I'm like, I know. We can hang in. We got this. And what would you say, Ed? Mia, why would you die in one of the world's best hospitals? Exactly. That's true. You are in, you are in Canada. You're in really, really good hands. Okay. Now, if you were in Vegas, I'd be a little worried because Vegas, uh, we're, we're not very known for our great uh, work out here in, in the hospital fields. Not saying there's not a lot of great doctors out here because there is, but we're just not known for, for good, uh, good health care out here. I should start going on live again on the Meet Me. I, I'm going too soon. Not yet. That's what I mean. We're slowly getting in and then I will do the double stream. We'll meet some new people. Okay. And what'd you say, Mia? Bonnie Nurse Nancy says 15 more minutes and then no more iPad. <laughs> you feel like you're back in school. You're like, no. I feel like, can I get my cookies and milk too, please? <laughs> oh, all right. Nurse Nancy knows what's best for you, though, sweetie. So she does want you to get off. It's because she needs your rest. And, and what did you say, Ed? You said, nurse just wants you to get better, Mia. See, that's it. That's why I got to take the iPad away soon. So you can make sure you definitely get some good shut eye. And call out the number. We have from all over the world, David. That's what's beautiful. Are you imagine someday to be a spy or a spy? I used to want to be a spy for sure. I think that would be a lot of fun. But the only thing is you can't really have a family because then you can't tell your family stuff. So that's like when you decide to have a family, you can't be a spy anymore. Otherwise, just you, you can't tell your family anything. And then you have to lie to your all the time. And that's just awful. Who wants to live a lie? You have family in Pickering and, and Scarborough. See, look, Mia might be right around you. Okay, hold on. Now I got to find this third wake the hell up fact here. And Nas, uh, Daniel, I see you. Been missing you too, sweetie. Okay, and what'd you say, Art? No, I think 11 wins will give us give us a spot in the playoffs. Maybe 12, but there might be 11 wins because everybody has three losses in their division or whole division. Okay, so then it might be 11. So we're just not sure if it's 11 or 12. Yeah, I'm not sure on that one either. 
I just know I just want to keep seeing win, 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 win. So there's nothing that's holding back from playoffs. And what did you say, Ed? You're unsure about it at 3 at three p.m. counting down the minutes, you get knocked out to get in the ventilator. Is that what it is three? But three p.m. your time. And what'd you say, Art? Right, what about Raiders traders? They're trying to kick ass as they will. They did yesterday. Yeah, I know. I, I had. I hate to admit it as well, but I said the same thing with South Boy Dave yesterday. I said it to him. We both were saying it. We're like, we really don't want to play them in the playoffs. They're 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 looking pretty good right now. <laughs> yes it's coming up soon she's gonna be okay that's why she needs to get rest that's why that's why nurse nancy's like you need some rest man and then you're gonna go on the ventilator and you're gonna be okay it's gonna help you breathe better it's what you need right now no creamy we're not admitting it like that i know creamy has like a big kool-aid smile on his face right now he's like i told you i told you raiders are through <laughs> All right, well, let's find it. We got our third wave telefax of the day. What's it going to be? Hmm. Let's see. Something. Something you guys have no clue. And what do you say, Dave? It's time to induct Canada's rock band. Guess who into the Rod Hall of Fame? I would say Fiction Six. <laughs> All right. Where is he? Is he kind of hears you and doesn't hear you? What? <laughs> is Brazy being demanding? <laughs> he said he's gonna put a lock on his door. He's gonna he's gonna lock her out. You have met Burton Cum Cummings. Nice. Winnipeg's best. Okay, come on. We gotta find this. And then you guys, I know you have things you want to share, so we will share it. First, we have to share the love of our brains getting smarter with one more fact. <laughs> Just one more. What's it going to be? Um, no. Okay, we're going to go all the way down. I'm going to go in more results. Let's see what's going to happen. Mm, let's do this on this page. Now we're going to go even further down. Okay, let's go back into this one. I've been on this page before. Let's find some more stuff. And what did you say, David? Have you heard of a Buffalo Springfield? I know Richie Ferrey, an original. I don't think I've heard of that. No. <laughs> it's like, I thought everyone in Canada has met Burton Cummins. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Belly, you going to help out with this fact? Are you going to say, I love you? Say hello. Come up here. Come up here. No? No, not at all. No. No. Is it all you get? Your family, like Family Guy TV show. Well, thank you. We have such a great family, don't we? We're a mix of a lot of things here. All right. Did you know? Yeah, we don't want to know that. I'm finding it, though. It's going to be it. And what happened? They had a song for what it's worth. Hey, now, what's that sound? Everything is going round. Wait a second. 
Okay, now see, that sounds familiar. I probably do know it. I just didn't know it when you said it. Like, if I hear it, then I'll know it. Remember, that's a lot of times with certain. Okay. Let's see. How about. No. Not that one. Mm. No, I don't like that one either. Next post. No, that brought me some. Wait, hold on. No, now we're into like, like cards. <laughs> like really awkward cards. Okay, that's weird. It's crazy that the link would be on this. Okay. And what did you say? Hey, now that's what that sound. What's that sound? Everybody, yeah, see, I, I know the song. And Myth, good morning to you. <laughs> now it's like in my head. <laughs> Thank you. It'd be a song now just stuck in my head for the rest of the day. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Let's see now. What about? It's talking about frightening animals. Let's see what this is about here. Um, let's see. No, it just seems like a lot of pictures. No, that's not good either. All right, hold on. Oh, just an SP on the page. I should have known when I was going into critters. I was like, oh, beware going onto that page. Okay, hold on. All right, I think I got another page. We'll check this one out. And, and what did you say? You should post your celeb pics in first class. Al Pacino. Oh, Al Pacino, man. Just right there. Al Pacino. Al Pacino, Alton John, David Furbish, Mariah Carey, President Clinton with four Secret Service, David Pack with Ambrosia, and by far the nicest people ever you met. That's so nice to hear. And the guest who once played the White House. Nixon's daughter was a fan. They were told not to play the American woman. How dare they? They're like, I want to play what the hell I want. <laughs> who are you? I don't care if I'm at the White House. Anna Diata. Well, hello. Good morning. We just learned that name was going to be the name of what they're still putting together in India in 2022. That was the same name. How cool. And what'd you say, Ed? Everybody knows every song with Neil Young, but they just don't know the song's name, right? Oh my God, there's so many songs like that. It's like you hear it, you know it, and then you'd be like, wait, wait, who sings that? Or the opposite. You know who sings it, and you don't know what the actual song is because like the title doesn't really make sense of what the song is. <laughs> well, just rub it in, Creamy, you met Mariah and Al. I met Mariah, not Al Pacino. I seen him on set one time, but I never actually got to like meet him. Yeah, he was very, very busy. And then that was it. I was like, damn it. One of these days, Al, one of these days. And what did you say, David? You met Timothy Hutton, Julio Iglesias, Celine Dion, Rick Derringer, and many other famous people. And were they nice too? Was this on the list of nice people? Allie's like, what a dream American can tell me. <laughs> All right. What I can tell you is I'm going to find that third wake the hell of fact. That's what I'm going to tell you. We got to find it. And I think it's going to be on this page. And George, I know another great happy victory. Monday, go Steelers 9 and oh, thank you for that. A harvest moon. 
No Sugar was the B-sides of American Woman Single. That was the side that people didn't really listen to. How dare they? Listen to the A and listen to the B, man. They're both important. Okay, and then you're talking amongst yourself? Okay, good. Talk to yourself, people. Talk to your people. Because I got to find this. And I'm feeling it. It's like so close. It's like right here. It's on this page somewhere. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Hmm. No. Mm, no. Something really, really interesting that I know you guys want to learn. And what'd you say? It says, by the way, I know lots of hate on the rapper Takashi69. About a month before his arrest, he gave every flight attendant $1,000 tip for being a bit loud during the flight. <laughs> so at least, at least he shows a great tip side. He's like, I know I'm being loud and I, we were being obnoxious, but we want to we want to give you some money. A good tip. I know. And that's nice to hear. It's nice to hear. Actually, celebrities will come out of pocket. You're like, of course he did, because Neil Young played with so many bands back in the 60s and early 70s. William Shatner from Star Trek is from Montreal. And I heard some people that have met him, he's not really nice. And who's standing behind? Nobody's standing behind me. And if they are, it's Casper the Friendly Ghost. <laughs> but nobody's here right now. All right. And no, we're not going to do the first president. That's not a wake the hell up fact. No, no, no. We got to find something that people would not know. Something that's even hard. If you felt like you wanted to look it up, you couldn't really find it. That's the question I'm finding now. He's kind of pervy too. Is he? Oh, men in Hollywood. Damn it. No, your buddy met Shatner and he was nice. Okay. I heard he's like, I heard he's diva ish. Okay. How about no, that one's not that interesting. Let's see. Uh no. How can these are so not what you want to learn? <laughs> well, where is the first law in the world? What was you're saying? Where is the first law in the world? Something like that. You want to go with maybe a law? Then I'd have to look up another page. I don't know. There's a bunch of random stuff on here. Let's see. He sings ordinary people and it's hilarious. And Al Pacino gave you $1,500 along with two co-workers. He said, you guys should have. Because you guys are amazing. Al Pacino knows. See, Al Pacino knew that you were amazing, Mia. Have I been to Graceland? No, I have not. I have not been. I have not seen the King Elvis out there. <laughs> All right. You're like, sorry, common people. It was his, his version of that how Bowie song. Did I almost say Bowie? Really? Did I really almost say that? Okay. All right. Mm. No. Okay. These are on animals but nothing really that exciting yeah this page seems to suck <laughs> facts and what'd you say aditya why we wake the hell up can't we bend heaven down well we can 
<laughs> and Elvis's stepfather was from Montreal, Mr. Baloo. So you guys are throwing out some great facts, but we are going to find it. Let's see. No, but remember, this is the third one, so it has to be really good. And I'm not finding one that's like, that's it. None are that exciting to even want to learn. And especially you guys, as I mentioned earlier, you are like the absolute geniuses of the world. So you see how this makes it even harder to find something that you guys don't know? Okay, I'm gonna click on this link. Is that just a picture? Yeah, no, that was just a picture. Okay, we're going somewhere else now. The Legend of King Arthur. If you recall, I'm near New York City. No, that's where I was brought up, but I'm actually in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's where we're at. Las Vegas. Oh my goodness, Jamie, you just got the notification that I'm online? A little late. Was it YouTube that did that notification? YouTube, you're slacking on Jamie's side. And eat hash brown, eat hash brownies, and you are awake, but it feels like you are still asleep. <laughs> That's your go-to, the hash brownies. And Aditya, my birthday is April 9th, next year. Oh no, she's not a meanie nurse. She's a good nurse. Nancy, I understand, Mia, it is time for Mia to get some rest. Okay, we got to prep for her to go to sleep for a while. No, not forever. Stop saying that. Just for a while. Remember, you're just going on an extended vacation that is so needed because you you have helped so many people. So now it's time for you to get some good rest, right? And take care to you, sweetie. God bless you. You are here. We got you. You, you sent us something funny. Okay. Is it something like to look at later or can we share it with the fam or is it something private and we're just going to laugh our asses off in front of everybody? <laughs> All right, Mia, come on, everybody. Let's give more hugs to Mia. Oh, squeeze her, squeeze her, squeeze her. Now remember, she's fragile. She's a little thing. Squeeze you. All right. Nancy, Nancy, take care of our Mia. Right? She is strong. Mia is very strong. And she got the whole family on her side. Come on. All that strength. Are you kidding me? Recovery is happening soon. And you stayed at Circus Circus in Vegas. It's a simple place. It's a fun place, too. There's always activities. And she will get well soon. Thank you, Ed. We appreciate it. And do I like zombie facts? I like all sorts of facts. Are you trying to say we want to look up something on a zombie? Okay, I'll, I'll do that. Have I seen the Circus Soleil? They are from Montreal. I have. I've seen a bunch of them out here. Absolutely amazing. It's like, how the hell do they do that with their body? And stay up for so long and then look so graceful and make it look so easy. It's not private? Okay, so we'll share it in a little bit then. Mia mucha more. <laughs> Mwah. Okay, so I guess we're going to look up some interesting zombie facts. All right. Well, at least that will give us some inspiration for something because these facts that I'm finding right now are boring. So, so thank you for bringing the zombie in. All right, Allie, let's do it. We're going in. Zombie facts. Okay. Let's see. Something that you guys don't know about these zombies. Hey, you think maybe it'll help me play the game too, learning? <laughs> so I can really shoot up the zombies a lot better. Let's see. All right. How about this one? Let's see. Zombie facts. Hmm. Let's see. How about 
Makeup, no. Okay, here's something that we might have not known, and it's interesting because I didn't know there was an actually a day. I always thought like Halloween would be a day that you can celebrate your zombie side. I didn't think there was an actual day. It's called World Zombie Day. Did you guys know this? Did you know this? Did we miss out on World Zombie Day or is it coming up? And when I come on, I'll be like, brains, brains, brains. <laughs> And what did you do, David? You visited Grand Canyon. Isn't it absolutely incredible? It is. It's gorgeous. It's like, wow. How did this really come about? She is, she is Filipino, sweetie. You're like, my wife's Chinese. I'm curious. Okay. But now, there is a world zombie day that it says it takes place all around the globe. So everybody celebrates this. What day is it? Because I feel like it has not been celebrated for years, for centuries, because this is something, like I said, I've never knew. Do, have you guys been celebrating this? Is it something you've kept on the hush hush? It's only like a secret society could know. <laughs> well, we're going to know it today and we're going to start celebrating it if I actually remember. We'll, we'll see when they finally tell us what day it is, if it's an actual day we can remember. Okay, and you will text them, then you can, you try to call, but then you saw my number, you said, oh, her again, and didn't answer. Oh, no, you did not. <laughs> You're like, I have a lot of Filipino friends. Nice. Okay. Remember, clear the brain. Just keep the brain completely clear. And now think of zombie day. What day do you think it falls on? I'm going to go with, the day after New Year's, because everybody always thinks New Year's, it's like, it's it, it's the end. So let's say if you survive, then it goes into zombie day. <laughs> because some of you that party so hard, especially on New Year's, you'll look like zombies the next day. So it makes sense. All right. New Preview's like, no, I didn't. <laughs> you know she's messing with you. Of course you're probably still asleep. Your phone just didn't wake you. You needed your beauty Z's. Okay, so think. When do you think zombie day is? Excuse me. World zombie day. There's a world zombie day. And then I guess we'll find out, like, how long it has been around. Like, when did they actually say this day is now world zombie day? What do you guys think? I'm really feeling January, though. I'm feeling like the beginning of the year. I am. Or it could be like when, when it starts getting like really cold. Because for some reason, <laughs> I'm thinking of snow and zombies now. <laughs> and, and what did you say, David? You said, Bonnie, your partner, na native, lots of Mohawks here. <laughs> And Mr. Hernandez, hello, good morning to you. You just ran into a stupid dude and he didn't respect social distance. People, I know, I know, I know. Not everybody can be smart. Not everybody can be part of the Wake the Hell Up family because they're not that smart. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to encounter such a moron. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's like, it's not a hard thing. Just keep your fucking distance. Why are you going to be close to me? Let's say you're in the supermarket and you're trying to get down that aisle. Guess what? Wait for me to go first, get out of the space, and then you can come. Right, Bella? Bella's even upset. She's like, dumbass people out there. Right, Bella? That's what keeps making this spread because they're not following the rules. We got some rules, man. All right. Ed says, World Zombie Day would be a Monday after the three-day weekend starting on Friday. <laughs> nice. El esta loco. Hey, Bella. When is Zombie Day? Do you know? Have you been celebrating it low-key? Is that when you, like, go crazy? No, she does that all the time. Do you want to say hello to the puppy? Bella, come on. Everybody wants to see you. Put these paws up. Give me, give me these paws. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Say hello. Say hello, family. She's 
like I'm trying to tell you, the zombies everywhere, man. Oh, she heard something and she's out. At least she spoke to you guys a little bit. <laughs> All right, so think about the day. What what month do you think it, it lands in? Or you think I'm right with January? Or as Ed's saying it, do you think it's always after that three-day weekend? So zombie day, I mean, world zombie day. Like, I'm not getting this out right. World zombie day, yes. World zombie day exists multiple times out of the year. It feels like that sometimes when you, you party a little too much or you just stay up really late and then, or you're like really into a series or a movie and then you want to watch another one. And then you're just, you got that zombie face. You're just stuck. <laughs> Creamy says it's the day that the government signs all the bills and laws that we're not aware of. <laughs> there you go. That's a good way of doing it. It doesn't, she, she has such a pretty voice, Bella. We're going to make, we're going to make a CD. And what'd you say, Mia said, brains, try and beat that, fluid in English, French, Biznaya, Tala, Tagalog, Korean, Chinese, Mandarin, and get by in Japanese, Russian, and German. My work said only 0 0.001 of the world are fluent in seven languages. I'm telling you, Mia, we, we are so proud to have you part of our family. You're like, you're probably the smartest out of everybody, but shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> Mia has some awesome brains I know and, and I honestly think well, not honestly we joke around about it but it kind of feels like that was going on in the world we have like a zombie apocalypse so that's what's happening Mia got bit by the zombie and, and now she's just part zombie right now but she's a smart zombie <laughs> it's the only way we can laugh about this because it's literally like how I said I, I still don't have like my certain smell and taste and still my energy. So I feel like there was like a zombie, something is inside of me that, that like comes out, except I don't want brains though. I don't know though. Maybe they might taste good. <laughs> but what year, I mean, what day out of the year do you think the world zombie day exists? What day do you think that is? Hmm. Watch it be like on an actual holiday and it's just something we've just not celebrated. And maybe that's why the zombies are mad at us and more are going around because they're like, how dare you not celebrate? We get one day, damn it. And what? Work pays 1500 a year for every language fully fluent aside English. Oh, pick up a language and pick up some extra money. And you, you are still a zombie for a partial bit. Just for a partial bit, though. <laughs> but, but we're okay, though. We're friendly zombies. I didn't think they exist, but until you get the Rona, then you'll see. <laughs> you have facts about flowers. Okay, you can give us some facts. Give us some information. But I would love you guys to just pick one time out of the year. One month. What do you think? would be the world zombie day. And for them to put this world thing in, that means like global guys, what the hell man? All cultures all over the world, we don't know that this has existed. Have we really been like, like shadowed? We didn't know. And what'd you say you went from your normal weight, 95 pounds to 81 pounds this morning? Oh, that's good. I told you, you gotta make yourself eat. As much as this shit tastes like burnt rubber or doesn't have a taste at all, you must eat. Eat, 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 eat. I don't care if you're sucking down on jello all day long. I mean, I do want you to have some chicken noodle soup and some good nutrients, but just get something in your body, sweetie. But also when you get sick, that, that also is going to help. That happens because you do sleep a lot. And they say when you sleep, you lose more weight where you're sleeping. But in your case right now, that is the best that you could do is nice, relaxing sleep. The chemtrails are zombifying us. I know it. Is that why sometimes so often I'll look outside and be like, <gasps> it's not like a howl. It's like your zombie way. Or maybe the arms should go up too. And the face like braids. <laughs> 
And that's a light me up, right? I know we can just throw her up and down, but you're already, you're already very petite. So you're already little, but yes, we need some more food in your body. Get you, get you back to your, get you back to your normal weight. Next live, you're going to give us some facts about flowers. Okay. So tomorrow, stay tuned. Are you trying to tell me that I'm going to look up some flower stuff too? Must eat brains. She's going to gain it back. She will. I felt like I lost a little weight too, but then it was like, because I go, I go back and forth anyway, but no, I, I, I was good. I made sure I got to eat. It was hard, but I made sure I had to eat. You'll be asleep and down in 75, according to docs. And when I wake up, stop saying that. When you wake up, stop saying if. Get that if out there. It's only when. 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 When, how long you need your vacation. And right now, you need a long vacation. Right? Exactly, Creamy. You have to put that in your head. I'll be the friggin' zombie that goes, when, 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 when. See that. There's no if. It's when. You're not going to fight with yourself either. It's going to be when. Your, your face is going to be, you're going to be seeing your face, and it's going to be telling you, wake up, wake up when it's time, and you're going to wake up. You'll see. There is no if. We know you're coming back to us. And stronger. And you got to get well, man, because you got to see Creamy and you got to come to Vegas and we got to hang out and hopefully be for football. But then again, it looks like they are out here in Vegas. We are because people aren't following directions. So Governor Sislak is like, I'm only giving you the 14 days, people. You better pay attention. Stop this damn spread. Okay. Zombie day, world zombie day. When do we celebrate it? Or is this just maybe it's bullshit and I found a fact that's not even real? <laughs> not like that hasn't happened before. Remember, don't hold me accountable. These are things I find in the internet. You guys can do more research later. I'm feeling it is true, though. I'm just feeling we just, we just missed it because they don't really celebrate it too much. But now that hearing about it, I, I really want to celebrate this holiday. I want to know how it came about, too. Was it because of the Night of the Living Dead? Got inspired and it's like we have to have a day now. I know because I had the Rona and Breezy had the Rona and then my hubby had the Rona. But now we're good. And now you have the Rona, man. But then you'll be good and then we'll be good again. And then we'll finally be able to see each other. She's surviving the zombie attack in Canada. She is. She's in a safe place. Is it, is it maybe, maybe they just really celebrated in Canada? Is that it? A, eh? <laughs> but seriously, I'd never heard of this baby. Have you ever heard of world zombie day? Yeah. I don't think he can hear me. It looks like, I mean, Apex is on. He's not playing at the moment, but the headphones, he's into the headphones. All right. I'm going to go with, we're going to pick another day out of the year. Mom. She moved. Yes, they have to call you. Hey, Breeze, what do you think? Because apparently, according to the Internet, there's a world zombie day. What what day do you think it is? Team? Team? I said day. Apparently, there's a world zombie day they celebrate. I'm saying, what day is it? Are there any natural black flowers? I think there might be, there might be, it's that black rose that come, that can come natural. But then people can also paint flowers too. Lucky you have work health insurance covers hospital stay. Oh my God. Insurance is so good nowadays, right? Especially how much they charge at the hospital. Oh my God. You're like, thank you, Delta. Thank you. <laughs> There you go. First day of spring break. Because there is some people out there that it is like they're zombies. I don't know if it's before spring break or after spring break or even just during. But some people are just like not themselves. <laughs> All right. That's a good one. Now, Breezy. Breezy. What day do you think World Zombie Day lands on? Yeah, apparently exists. 
I don't know. I found it on the internet, so I could be lying. You're thinking too hard. I hear the brain, the wheels are turning. Just take a guess. Think of shows and like movies. See, he is. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking like I was inspired from Night in the Living Dead. Something. August. Okay. Four hundred ninety-five dollars plus tax for a single room. I know. Is that crazy? Forget about riding in the ambulance, man. Goes way up. Is this live? Michael, we are, we are live. And you came in right at the time where you can still make a guess. So our third wake the hell up fact. What do you think is the day? Don't cheat. First thing. When is Z World Zombie Day? Go Giants. Oh, no. You can say go Giants and they go, 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 go. <laughs> but it's all about the Steelers 9-0 and undefeated. Oh. Feels so good to say. Right? It's recorded for four years ago. We're in the future. We come back. <laughs> I know there is some people that come over like, is this really live? I'm, you actually talk to us. Yes, I don't ignore you. Unless you've been blocked and then I try to block you again and then you start getting annoyed. Ignored. <laughs> All right. What are you thinking? Come on, guys. I know you're feeling it. You are going to get your zombie gear together if it hasn't happened yet, or we will do it next year. What day does the world zombie day land on? Okay. Allie got something. Uh, this seems like you uh, went into Google. But it was about time, I would tell you. So let's see what you got to say here. World Zombie Day falls on October 13th. It occurs on the same date every year. It is an international event that started in 2006. This day was put together for fans of zombie culture to come together. October 13th. That's what I started in 13th. Pink. I don't know. That's what Allie says. But we'll have to see because I have to see what I have to see here. And then we're going to ask Big Space. Okay, Mia. And that's it. So we love you. Mwah. Mwah, mwah. We will see you very soon, sweetheart. And donkey, well, hey, what's up? Well, the topic that we were just on our wake the hell up fact. So I guess I can give you just a little bit more moment before I actually see what the answer is on my page. But what day is World Zombie Day? What day does it land on? Do you think Allie has the correct information? And Michael said... There's some zombies around where I live, that's for sure. <laughs> Do we all see zombie people around our neighborhood sometimes? Some people, when they wake up to get their mail in the morning, whoo, especially on the weekends. <laughs> you're like, what did you do? Or do you need some sleep? Okay, I'm getting to the page. I'll let you guys put in your answer. Around Halloween, I reckon. You know, I was thinking that too, but that's why I went far out and was like with, you know, January 2nd. But but Allie could have something there. So let's see. According to this place, you think in April, what are you trying to say? My birthday's in April. Are you trying to say I really am a zombie? Really? Because <laughs> when they say the showers, when they say it in um, April, so they're also saying the zombies grow then too. Allie was Googled like, a, you know what? I'm thinking that looks very like Googleable information. But let's see. According to here, it says World Zombie Day takes place around the globe. You didn't have the right information. Apparently, they're saying it's on October 8th. City centuries worldwide become infested with the living dead as mass parades takes place and raise money for charity. Well, it's awesome. I didn't even know this existed. I feel like I haven't lived. Okay. Now, that's only according to here. So now let's see what Bigsby has to say. Baby, that's kind of loud. I don't want to copyright. I just realized that shit. Okay. Hold on. Well, we started late. We are getting off in a little bit. I'm going to share. You guys are going to share your stuff, and then we're going to get off. Okay. You copied and pasted from another link. No. Big speed. When is World Zombie Day? Huh, 
that isn't a supported function. I'll keep learning to give you a better experience. What day lands on World Zombie Day? Hmm, that function can't be supported. I'll keep learning she to give you a better experience. She can't talk about zombies because she's one. Yeah, we're asking Bigsby. I'm still on Bigsby. We, we don't have the iPhone. Brianna, it's that way somewhere. All right, let's see. When do they celebrate Zombie Day? Hmm, that function can't be supported. I'll keep learning to give you a better experience. Can she at least give me a better answer? <laughs> okay. Bigsby, when do they celebrate World Zombie Day? It is Monday. Okay, well, at least it is Monday, but that's not what I was asking. Zombie Day, is it celebrated on October 8th or October 13th? I need one or more date intervals to continue. Yeah, she's trying to go into my calendar now. Okay. Big Spee, when did zombie... No, wait, hold on. I didn't understand I that. Neither did I. When did World Zombie Day get invented? Okay, here's a summary of what I found. Ha. The first World Zombie Day took place October 26, 2008, the same day as Pittsburgh Zombie Fest, when more than Pittsburgh. 30 cities worldwide took part. Nice. Okay. That was one time. So at least it's been in October, which would make sense because of Halloween. And Rich said, should be a Thanksgiving. Every is a zombie after eating turkey, <laughs> right? Oh, my God. Uh, that zombie mode after you've eaten. Forget just the turkey, the mashed potatoes, the yams, everything. You're just like. <laughs> David's like, October 13th is zombie day. I know, but according to here, it said 8th. All right, let's see if Google. The Google will steer, steer us right. When do they celebrate the World Zombie Day? Yep, Google is saying the 13th. It says World Zombie Day falls on October 13th. It occurs on the same date every year. It is an international event and started in 2006. This day was put together for the fans of zombie culture to come together to raise awareness to relieve hunger and the homelessness. Oh, my God. I love that. I was wondering where the charity thing was, and that makes sense. But see, now, according to here, it just says, is the 8th of October a zombie day? Now it says, October 8th has officially been coined World Zombie Day, and events across the United States are searching for victims this month. Zombie walks inspired by classic horror films like George A. That's crazy. So it's like, it says the 13th, and it says the 8th. Holiday calendar right here. This one says the 13th again. You know, what does Wikipedia have to say? Wikipedia might just give us one date. Let's see. According to Wikipedia, what is the world's zombie day? Let's see. Please search. Okay. Click on this link. No, that just brought me. Wait. Hold on. It's not. Please search World Zombie Day. I did. Click on that link, and now it brings me. Brings me to all this other stuff. I don't think somebody put it, nobody put it in Wikipedia. That's probably why. Hmm. We might not never know. Is it really the 8th? Is it the 13th? Google knows all sometimes. And sometimes I'm not sure about that. The Monday after Black Friday should be zombie day. That would be a good one. Because from all the people that are getting up really early, staying up to get those deals, I think everybody should be doing it online. There's also Cyber Monday, a lot safer. Only zombies. Zombles. 
<laughs> I'll be all right. Only zombies Google it when you're in competition answer mode. Let's play the Ouija. No, Michael, definitely not. We don't want to conjure some zombies in the house. Thank you. What you doing if you wake up 18 years old again? Um, that would be okay. I don't really drink that much anyway, so it really doesn't matter. I I'd be okay with that. <laughs> Cause then I get to celebrate 21 again. All right. Well, I think that's all the information we're going to find on that. You guys can look it up later. So it can either be the eighth or the 13th. We have to get more, more information in there. Um, so somebody actually tells what the actual date is. <laughs> I feel like they put it together and then they try to figure it out. It might change throughout the months because if they say they do like a whole walk and like a whole charity behind it, that's where they probably do put it on like a weekend. So maybe that's why they change it. And Google is a fair game, right? After Bigsby, I know Bigsby completely trashed the question. Bigsby didn't know what I was saying at all. You know what? Let me just try this. Hold on. Bigsby, is World Zombie Day on October 8th or October 13th? I need one or more date intervals to continue. Yeah. She's just dumb today, so we'll just we'll just leave her alone. <laughs> and what's the weather like? I'm glad you asked because I'm getting ready to give you that weather. What is our weather like here in Las Vegas, Nevada? And after that, Creamy, I know you got something to share. Mia wanted something to share. I know Sean had something to share. You all let me know where you want me to creep on you, and I'm coming on over. Okay, but first, it is our weather. And the weather, I told you, it was going to get a lot hotter this week, a lot better than it was because it was really getting cold. Well, it started out this morning at 59 degrees, and it's going up. It's 66 right now. The clouds are not in the sky. The sun is shining super bright, and it's going up to a high of 77 today. And then on Tuesday, oh, well, it looks like Tuesday through Sunday, there's going to be a lot of clouds in the sky. I don't doesn't seem like there's going to be any rain to follow that, just clouds, because it's going to start tomorrow at 50 degrees, and it's going up to a high of 77. Then Wednesday, it's going to be 52 and go up to a high of 79. Okay, almost at the 80s, getting exciting. But on Thursday, nope, it's starting at 54, and it's only going up to a high of 73. Then Friday, let's start off the weekend with starting at 52, going up to a high of 72. Yeah, still not that warm, but at least that's not that cold. But then the weekend, it's getting a little bit cooler. It's starting at 51 on Saturday, and it's only going up to high of 68. And I think the cooler weather is going to be into next week because it looks like Sunday, 47 degrees, and then going up to a high of 64. So remember, it is starting to get in the cooler temperatures out here. I am in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is a desert, and deserts do get cold. As you guys have all, all been exploring and finding out the weather, how cold it really does get here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And what did you say, Allie? Allie was like, if you woke up 18 years old again, are you going to be missing your family? Oh, my God, I didn't even think about that. Would it be like... Breezy wasn't even born or would it be like she was already born and now I'm younger than her? That would be pretty crazy. <laughs> More trivia. You got to wait till tomorrow, sweetie. I always do three wake the hell up facts, the most ridiculous things that we can find on the internet. Sometimes if you guys have like a topic, like Allie wanted to do flowers. So we'll at least do at least one flower thing for tomorrow. And if you guys have something else, that you want to save for tomorrow. Say, I mean, save it for tomorrow. So then I don't have to try to remember, but let me know and be like, I want to learn something more on this. But remember, it's something that's going to be like ridiculous that you wouldn't know because that's what makes this more fun. And is it donkey all the way in Ireland? It is still raining and it's 13 degrees. Yeah, that's really cold. And what'd you say? Ed said in Kitchener, Ontario, Canada, it is 35 degrees, cloudy and moist. Yeah, that's that's a lot colder than it is out here. Okay. Creamy says, I need an explanation for the pic I sent you. Okay. So does that mean, I think with you saying that, let's, let's go. I think we're heading over to a place called Facebook. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> You're an ass. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> and that's exactly what my expression would be. Like, why is he this close to me? <laughs> oh, creamy, this is great. <laughs> Or I'm like, is this a nightmare? Please, somebody wake me the hell up. <laughs> well, we definitely know this picture was a while ago because uh, no people are wearing masks. Okay, so no social distancing was happening at all. And oh my God, do you remember those crowds? Definitely not. But this guy, this guy... Kind of looks like a Trader fan over there. I would just say one thing. Is masked up back there. Is that you, Creamy? <laughs> oh, and some heat to Ireland. Send some heat. Well, the little that we have here, it's, we're sending it your way. What is the Gulf Stream's job? What is the Gulf Stream's job? To be a good golf and not to stream up. <laughs> oh, this damn picture. This shit is funny as hell. Oh, my God. And is that, look at this. You, you see what happened here? What, Bella? You want to play with the rope? Is that what you're doing? She wants to play. Fight. Okay. But I have to say, I'm here, Creamy. It looks like this Raider fan, though. He, he, um. He, he's deciding. He's like, I think I really am a Steeler fan, and I'm in gold. <laughs> and what did you say, Ali? Do you remember the first time you knew there was internet in the world? Uh, I don't remember the first time. Like, I can't remember exactly the day that I was like, oh, my God, we can go into Google. <laughs> or emails. <laughs> I still can't believe this pic. <laughs> Even in his picture, he has that face like, yes, Steelers, Steelers. It is an American football team. We are the world's football team. Remember Big Ben's speech? Forget those cowgirls. Oh, my God. That shit is so funny. <laughs> Great job, Creamy. Great job with the graphics. But yeah, he has that look on his face like, I win everything because I cheat. <laughs> All right. What else do you guys got to share? I know Mia had something really funny. So it means we're going to be going over to a place called Twitter. Okay, let's see. She sent, she sent a link. She said, thank you, Bonnie. Here's something I just watched. It hurt, but it's all worth it. <coughs> Cheers. A woman cheated, humiliated by the groom in their own wedding. Oh, my goodness. All right, it's YouTube, so we'll be careful with this copyright infringement things here. But let's see. It's literally, it's labeled, woman cheated, humiliated by groom in their own wedding. And it's by the Pintura channel. Is trust that will bind his two hearts. Oh. In well, the presence of God, somebody was even family young. and friends, it is time we move forward. Excuse me, Father, I know this is a bit untraditional, but I would like to uh, take a moment to say something about my beautiful bride. <laughs> Aww. It just can't wait. Uh oh. No, I it's not going to be beautiful. Can't think of anything. That I want more than to share my life with you. From the first moment I met you, I Aww. knew that we were soulmates. This is when it's all. Just this morning, my mom was commenting on how special our relationship is. Where the hell is he going with this? We have so much to look forward to. <laughs> all right, we don't want to copyright. Hold on, Let's see if we pull it forward a little. I have tried for so long to find the words to describe my. Okay, hold on. Um, what are you doing? Kate, I have decided to give our family and friends a gift. A gift? Everyone under your seats is an envelope. Would you open it, please? Oh, my God. Under there, Kate, is a gift I want them all to have. Travis, 
This one for you. First, I think it's like a game show. What did we win? I now know the words I was looking for. Oh. Fuck you. Oh, that's so Fuck fucking you. embarrassing. Well, thank you everyone for coming. Please enjoy the rest of your evening. And oh. the bar's open outside. I'm off to my honeymoon. Thanks again. Oh my God. But then again, if you cheat, oh my God. Let it come out before you. Before you get married. That's awful because that looked like it was like his best friend. <laughs> what a bitch. And it was raining Friday when you discovered the internet, <laughs> was it? I don't think it was on a raining day. I'm trying to remember. I do. Okay. I'll remember in. So I'm thinking when I did my email. Like when I had a hotmail. That was my first email. And I'm trying to remember when that was. Was it like 1994? <laughs> I'm really trying to remember. I'm like, when did I put that email together? Do I have a picture of black and white? What do you mean? <laughs> we are in color right now. I know when I move from the light a little bit, it seems like it focuses and we got different colors going on, but I don't know what you're talking about. Do you mean like a black and white? Like, do I own a black and white picture? Like from like back in the day, like when you have a camera that only does black and white pictures? Because yes. Um, and also did those in like the machines, you know how you do like the, the picture machines and it only comes black and white. So yes. Lucky they had six cameras at that wedding. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? I mean, you already know you're cheated and you're living with that and you're about to get married. And the guy's standing like I, like I just don't know how you could even sit there and have that smile on your face the way she was. It's like it's almost like she should have been like, OK, I cannot get married to you knowing that I did this. And I am so friggin sorry if she was even sorry, because even just kind of looking at her face, it kind of was just like, damn, I got caught. Who did the editing on that wedding spoof? Damn, she is good. <laughs> it's real. What are you talking about? That was real. Oh, shit. Ah! I'm, I'm not trying to be in the rapture right now. And now it's loading. Stop loading. Stop! Stop! It's like it wouldn't go down. I'm telling you, my, my phone's a ghost phone. It plays all sorts of shit sometimes. And who would you say? You're like rap music. It's not the devil. Come on now. It's all sorts of music, all different cultures, all different. But yes, my, my phone seems to be possessed a little. That we can say. Remember, age is just a number. It is. It's just one number. One number that is, are you asking? Because I'm not going to tell. That's something you're never going to get. <laughs> Snoop said it was a spoof. Was it? I don't know. That was good, though. Oh, my God. That was so wrong in so many ways, too. Because it's like, oh. Just think about just the guy. Okay, let's just say if it, it is a true story, think about the guy. He went through all of that to wait for that moment to do that. Totally. He was like, I'm getting this bitch back. That's definitely payback, sir, bitch. Whoa. Okay. And let me just, uh, let's just write here. Hold on. <laughs> Telling her when she wakes the hell back up, we'll be seeing Mia. Okay. 
All right, there we go. And send. Okay. And Sean wanted to share something. Sean got something on Instagram. He said, anybody else have anything to share? Let me know. Oh, <gasps> look how beautiful that looks. Oh, Sean, so great. Look at that. I, I need everybody to see the emblem in there. You see how sometimes you can't see things until you really close up <laughs> and put some ACDC on. I'm not trying to put any music on because we'll get a copyright infringement. That's why I was screaming over the music. Love that cop killing, drug dealing, cool pimping rap music. It's just so wholesome. <laughs> it depends on it depends on the artist. It depends on what's going on. It depends on the lyrics. All different kind of all different cultures, all different genres of all music all around the world. Because think about this. Let's just pick just pick AC DC for example, right? What if somebody takes the songs? I've said this before. People can take songs and they can mean whatever they want to, right? What if somebody turned around a song the same way? And then we heard it and we're like, that's not it. You can say, or Christian rock. Even you can take Christian rock, a song that you would think completely, you're like, okay, this is sending a message of this, but what if somebody else hears something in it? And they're like, no, they're really talking this. It's somebody's opinion, right? So you're entitled to one. That's why I say all genres, all genres of music, all different stuff. Think about music that's just like Mozart and there's no words. And what are those words you put together to that music? Depends on Ed, it depends on what you're feeling. And like Nickelback, that too. <laughs> you're already making lyrics, that's what Ed is doing. <laughs> He's saying what it's saying to me right now. <laughs> All right. And thank you, Sean, for letting us see that because we are definitely seeing that 9 and 0 and it feels so good. All right, guys. So anything else that you guys wanted to share? Tell me where I'm going. Am I going to Facebook? Am I going to Instagram? Am I going to the Twitter? Where am I going? Where are you guys sharing these lovely things? Because I have something to share with you guys. This is, this is my Bella. <laughs> I saw this and I was like, oh yes, this is Bella. Cause this is how she is. We had, um, when a package came the other day and even the <laughs> UPS guy opened the door, Bella was going nuts. I was like, she's okay. She's okay. I got her. But he was so scared. Cause I think this is what he looks at when he sees my dog. <laughs> Look at this picture. <laughs> and he even says how my dog sees he answers the door, sees you when he answers the door. I mean, this is how he sees himself. I really feel like this is Bella. Because <laughs> the way the UPS got, I'm, oh my God, I wish I had that on camera. The, the look that he gave my dog, that's what you would think Bella looked like. <laughs> she, she could be quite scary sometimes, especially when she's showing her teeth and she's growling. And you said, armed and ready, chihuahua. <laughs> Well, she is a she is a chocolate lab. And check out Wandering I87 at your Instagram page. You started photography. Okay. Let's check out, let's check out your photography. Okay, we got Instagram and search wandering. And with an underscore. Okay, and then I87 and underscore in between as well. Okay. Come on, underscore. Okay. And just checking. Yep, that's it. So this is you. Oh, check out these awesome pictures. Very nice. Check it out. This is the Instagram, Wandering Eye, and a good name too, because think about photographer. Look at these gorgeous pictures. Look at this. Oh, I want to go there. Every one of these places, I just want to go, especially this beach picture right there. Oh, I see myself standing right there. And oh, look at it. This is like the woods. Reminds me of like one of those movies. So once it gets dark, I would not want to be there. <laughs> 
<laughs> I feel like a zombie is gonna pop right, right between here. They're hiding right behind those things. You can't see them. All right. Well, let's give you some. Um, let's give you some love on your page, shall we? There we go. Oh, look at these colors, though. Look how gorgeous this looks. Oh, look at those pretty, pretty did colors. You, did you see the end of the video? Looks like Zen. Oh, yeah. You're, You're like, oh, my God, a guard chihuahua. <laughs> I thought you guys would like that picture. It was so Bella. <laughs> Even though I think it's a guy dog and mine's a girl dog, but that's kind of how she acts. You knew it was a chihuahua. I don't think it is, though. I don't think that is a chihuahua. No, it's not that kind. Of, it really looks like my chocolate lab because even Bella has like the white under there. Right. Doesn't it really look like Bella? <laughs> Do you see Elvis every day in Vegas? No, because I don't go to the strip. And even when we did drive by it the other day just to see the dumb people that were not wearing their masks and following pr proper uh, social distancing. I didn't see any Elvises walking around. I didn't see any people walking around that were dressed up except for Taurus. And you said, thanks so much. That Tully Moore Forest Park, five miles by your house. Oh my God. That's awesome. So you can literally take that walk and be like, I want to see this beautiful forest. That is gorgeous. And this is all in Ireland. In Ireland. Oh, see, I want to just walk on these rocks. I would totally do that. If I was here right now, that's what I would do. I would walk on every single rock. And then that one, I'd probably have to jump a little bit. But I would have fun. <laughs> you see dead leaves everywhere. <laughs> and what did you say, Gravy? you like, I prefer the I am app over Instagram. So much talent on there. Is there? I've never even heard of that. Your son has a French bulldog and they love people. They do all the, they're very friendly. It's just when you come to the house is when they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. You're on my comfort zone, man. What are you doing here? Parts of Game of Thrones film there. Actually, I did. I did read about that. And that does make sense because if you look at the scenery, it looks like it definitely does look like that same scenery. You should go to the Newfoundland and see the icebergs. Yes, when it is safe to travel, I'd love to get out there. And be careful, slippery when wet. <laughs> you already know. That's why I'm like, and there's water by those rocks. That's why I said it would be fun. I didn't say I probably wouldn't fall, but I said I definitely would want to do that. Have I been to Hawaii? Long, 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 long time ago. Not enough where I could really actually enjoy it. It was, it was for a job, it was for a shoot a while ago, but I wasn't there that long and it wasn't like I got to experience everything. Creamy said, it's an awesome app. I have over 1,100 pics in my gallery and counting. Nice, I never heard of that. Oh, and speaking of apps and things, remember I did share with you guys, you want your free Thanksgiving dinner and you want to start making money back from shopping at like every store around the world? Okay, hold on. Let me get into YouTube and put this link for you guys. Mm -hmm. Where am I? There I am. I like to look oh. like I look the end of my We're going to lower that because an ad is happening right now. And apparently she's showing us because you guys do know you want to learn how to put those eyelashes on. At least I think that's what it was. Yes. So we'll let them talk. All right. Um, where is the live chat? There we go. Okay. Give me a second. I think it's still on my clipboard. Been to Canada? Yes, but that very, very long time ago and not enough to actually like understand where I was and enjoy it. So I definitely want to go back. Okay, hold on. Here it is. Is it making me 
Yeah, I have to minus 100 characters. All right, hold on, guys, why I minus some shit. Okay, you guys know that it's a link I'm sending you. Food free. I'm just going to say Thanksgiving dinner. Hold on. This really is an awesome app, guys. It's crazy because, like, the things you buy all the time, you're just like, holy crap. They really do give you good savings. Okay, here it is. And I'm putting the Thanksgiving dinner because that's for free right now. Thanksgiving dinner for signing up. There we go. I should have put the free word in, but see that? Click on that link, guys, and join. I'm telling you, you're going to make money. You got a PayPal. It can go right to your PayPal. They don't take a cut. You can also do it to your bank account. I like doing the PayPal thing because I, um, even though, I've used the app now and I see that it is legit. It's still like there's something just like, I'm like, let's just keep it with PayPal. Then it's almost like the extra money. If you spend something online, you put it in there. But you can, ju you can, you can judge and do what you want to do, though. But I'm telling you, it's not a scam. It's called Ibotta. That's what I shouldn't have put in there. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Ibotta one link. You kind of see it. Okay. And you've never been to Canada, but you have been mounted. Okay. And Ed's like, I'm dying to do my eyelashes that way. Right? <laughs> That's why you didn't want to skip that commercial, man. Yes, Sean. It was a beautiful picture. It's beautiful that you can send that. 10 and 0 is, is where we're heading. My jacket reminds you of, it reminds you of the Kill Bill, does it? Really? It's been a while since I've seen that, so I'm not sure. You guys are so loud. I can't hear myself think. And Elijah, good morning to you, sweetie. Oh, God. Is she trying? She's trying to figure out this thing. I moved my dress, but it's 10 inches. And then the other dress there, I can't move. And then the next thing I don't have enough room. And the guy was telling me to put the fridge in the closet. And I'm like, well, the fridge can't really go in the closet because of the wire. And he said, well, you can tape it and figure it out. Yeah, you can. And then I'm like, but I have some shit in the closet. And then he's like, well, you have to declutter it. That's what you're doing to me. It's so much. <laughs> Brianna's trying to, she wants a little desk area. She wanted a big bedroom set. And then I told her, you you sometimes can only have, you got to weigh bedroom. it out. I got my bedroom set, so now it's time to get a desk. Yeah, but you're going to be, I'm just saying, your room is going to be cluttered. You don't it's have a choice. Fine. You don't have enough room. She doesn't have enough room. She tries to make more room when she doesn't have room. She debates with us too. We got tape oh, measure and everything yeah. to prove to her. I know our child's crazy. You don't got to tell me. A what? Out of what? Wait, but hold on. For what? No, okay. That's what I mean. So I'm about to get off in a minute. Give me a second. You should visit British Columbia, not too far from you. Well, when it's safe enough to travel. You can't hear myself think. Try not to think. Right? <laughs> Trying not to think. <laughs> I told you I wanted to say that. We said that the other day. I can't hear myself think. <laughs> yes, Mia is. But but just just for the moment, because she has to get better. So the nurse Nancy was like, You gotta get off now. Everyone into the closet, mummy and daddy are fighting. <laughs> <laughs> What is that link? Okay, so the link I put, so there's an app called, let me show it to you so you know exactly what you're looking at. So if you see it on my page, it's that pink one right there. It's called Ibotta. And literally, you make money off this app. So like, let's say you want to buy popcorn. There could be like a certain, you know what? I'll show you better. It will let you know if there's popcorn on sale and you can do like a certain store. So like, for example, oh, Cancun. Oh, I haven't been there forever. I love Cancun. You said my son and wife, we booked a trip to Mexico. Mexico in December. Cancun. Oh, yes. We had a fun time. We celebrated when we go to Cancun. It was for my rest in peace. My granny and abuelo. It was their 50th anniversary. Mm hmm. And we all went to Cancun. No kids, though. <laughs> it was only all the adults. And what did I miss? What did I miss at 1140? 
I didn't miss it. I said, I did catch it. I think you missed it, me catching it. Ha ha. Okay. But see, here you are. So you can do Walmart, you can do Albertson, whatever your heart desires. There is so many stores. So you guys can just tell me what store you want to pick and we go from there. So literally, even the Dollar Tree is on the list. There's so many on the list. And like shopping online, Amazon's on here, all the stuff. You never have to. <laughs> Belle is getting spoiled. Am I looking very nice today? Well, thank you. I'm feeling very nice today. And Taco Bell. Okay, you want to do Taco Bell? All right, we'll do Taco Bell. But like with fast food, I think you have to do the gift card. Yeah, this is only online. So see, you got Taco Bell and it's online and you get cash back on like gift cards. So for example, you can buy a gift card for the purchase if you weren't even just getting it for a gift for yourself and put it in. But that's not a good example. Actually, putting Taco Bell in brought up this. You get a dollar back if you buy the Taco Bell cheddar cheese crisp, any variety, two ounce bag. Your limit is five. But do you see on there where it shows that little sign? That's Albertsons. So that, that deal is only available at Albertsons. Did you see? You literally, it says you get a dollar back. And you'd click on this little thing to put it in your list. So see the little plus? You put a check mark. And then you add it to your list and you could do it up to five times. You get that, that dollar back. So that's pretty cool. You love slow food. <laughs> okay. So let's pick something like, let's just do, let's just do Walmart. It's easy. It's the one I do a lot. Well, I do Albertsons too and Sprouts and Smiths. Those are like the go-tos. Okay. But a lot of it you do online. And remember I said, if you do it a day in advance, I don't know how it is all over the world. I just know here in Vegas, if let's say we want to buy something today, it won't be available for pickup the next day. And you just pull up your car, you pop the trunk open, and they give you your stuff. And you can pay for it all online. You don't have to worry about nothing. And you can do it all with the app. So you, you download the app, and then you can also um, connect it to your other store apps. So it's pretty freaking cool. And Michael, one of your first dates with your dearest with your wife was at Taco Bell. Oh, nice. Taco Bell for the win. <laughs> okay, my love. I love you too. Get her a Scooby snack. Bella wants a Scooby snack. That will get her attention. Try and save. Put that in there. I, I think you're just... You're messing with me. You can try and save. And I'm putting that in. Is that an actual store? Or are you just fucking with me? You are fucking with me. I know you're fucking with me. Why did I listen to you on that one? <laughs> Is there Italian food app? Italian food in app. Um. Okay. So, but are we going to be in a store? Or we're just doing in general. Okay. So if we're not going to a store, we're already heading home, right? So we're hitting home and I'm just going to put, we'll put Italian food. So everything Italian food is going to pop up, but yes, there could be more gift cards for Italian places. But see, this is what it's giving me. And this is giving you your variety. This is what I was talking about. If you don't go into a specific store, it gives you your variety here. So like this brand, you know, the wonder bread, but the Italian one, you see, you get 50, 55 cents back, but look at your list. You got a bunch of stuff there. And you just scroll up. But you see how that all shows Albertsons? That's Walmart. That's Sprouts. That's Target. Sprouts, Walmart. See? And then you get, but it's everything that would be in the Italian Brit. I don't know why dog food is in there, but it is. Oh, wait. Or did I also go into my list? Hold on. No, that's just all what's coming up Italian food. And it goes all the way up to a bunch of stuff, though. There's even kids stuff in here, but I guess it still falls into the topic. If there's anything Italian in it, I guess they're throwing it in it. So yeah, sometimes you're like, why would that be in it? But Hey, sometimes it gives you an idea to be like, Oh, I didn't think about that. I think I might want to buy that. <laughs> Taco Bell is more authentic Mexican food. Tell everyone that's a fictional Simpsons. Story. I thought I'm like, it sounded familiar, but I'm like, it sounds like it's not real though. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's where I heard it from. And what did you say, Eli? Well, I'm going to go get rest more to feel better. All right, sweetie. Yes, please feel better. Get your energy. But get some money back. That's why I put that link for you guys. I always want to help you guys save, make some money, especially during these hard times, what you can do. And especially they're giving out a free Thanksgiving dinner. I know a lot of people can use that. You take care as well, David. And be safe and visit Canada soon when the corona's over. Hasta luego, adios. The bandigas. I will. I will. I do. I want to visit so many places. This is dog food. Yeah, I, I didn't put it, but that's what came up, okay? <laughs> All right. But let me show you. And then you make your list. So once you're checking things, once you click things, so let's say you buy it, it's going to keep coming back and it's there for you. And then it will say it's available again because sometimes the coupon, it's like you get a dollar back and then it comes back like in like a week or so. So if you guys gave me something else, like I said, let's pick the store Walmart. Okay, so now I'm actually clicked on Walmart and now pick something you wanna buy. Okay, like what's always on my brain, cheese. And you'll see all of the great cheeses they have to offer in different brands. And anything that has to be with cheese, you got Cracker Barrel, you got Cache Farms. So you got all sorts of stuff. Daisy brand, cottage cheese. See, so you have all of these offers. And then sometimes if you look at the offer, you're like, holy shit, I just pretty much got the item for free. But see, macaroni and cheese, Ritz crackers, it all just depends. And then some of you, these also have an extra bonus. See, look, there's so much shit. I'm telling you, it's like, and you'll see some stuff is already checked which means I've already done it and see, and then you get these extra bonuses. So if you buy like the Velveeta brand or the Campbell's or Goldfish or Kraft or like Daisy, it says right now, 50 cents back on Daisy cottage cheese. That's your bonus. But then when you click on it, um, I think cause you had to buy something else, Daisy. That's why I had one more thing to buy. I buy 11 22 and then I get that extra 50 cents. So I'm still not sure how all the bonuses work because I haven't figured that all out. I just know usually when something pops up, like, for example, I'm in the Philadelphia cream cheese, right? 70, 75 cents back on that. You click on that and then it will tell you um, if there's a, it tells you at the bottom. See, there's no more bonus on that one. And it just depends. And you know what the cool thing is? You can literally scan the item. So if you're in the store and you're like, I don't know if that works. You just hit when you're in your little search and it has a little skew thingy that pops up. Can you see that? And then you click on that and boom. And then you just scan. Dunk! And you really can like hold it from far away. It like goes like, let's do this. We'll scan my real water. See, pops up. And because I'm in Walmart, it says no offer found. And there's no offer found. It doesn't even find the item because it's not sold at Walmart. But it will let you know. It's pretty freaking cool, man. Just to get any money back on anything is like good, especially nowadays, right guys? Cause you go to the supermarket, you spend all this money. And then if you get like $10 back, it's like, holy shit, I just saved. Even if it's just a couple cents back, man, it adds up. It does, cause it's, it's been adding up now on this app. And I love the fact that you can literally do it from your computer. So you don't even have to go into the world. You can just shop right online and find all your great deals. And I think I showed you guys this the other day too. And then if you buy any brands, you can just go to the category. There's literally a category saying eight, any item and you click on that and it will tell you in each specific store. So happy shopping and get that free Thanksgiving dinner. I know you guys want a free turkey, free cranberry sauce, free stuffing, free French onions, free mashed potatoes, free cranberry sauce. What was the other thing? Soda, gravy. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not sure. And some of the stuff is also like, you know, some of the brands you might be like, oh, I've never got that one. I don't know about that. But when it's free, it's free. Um, I already got I already got some stuff and I already gave it this other lady. I told you I met in, in, in the supermarket last time and gave her the link. I saw somebody else and I gave him some free stuff because when you can give, that's how you can give too. sometimes. It's like, all right, well, I just got this and we don't need it. Would you like this extra? You can have it. I got it completely free. <laughs> And what did you say? French food? We want to look up French food just in Walmart now because I'm still in Walmart. Okay, let's see what pops up for French food. Okay, we have puddings. 
We have food bars. We have any brand dry food and cat food. There's still more dog food. I don't know why they put in dog food with all the categories. Probably because it's with food. And I'm thinking it also starts to know you. So, like, if you buy dog food, it's going to keep popping up. But we don't have a cat. So, I don't know why cat food's popping up. So, maybe that theory is not good. But coffee's popping up. Nesca, uh, Krispy Kreme, coffee. So, you got a bunch of brands here. I don't really know coffee too much. But there's Panera. I know that brand. There's Starbucks. There's, see, you got, you got a lot of choices, man. And look, you're getting a dollar back on some of this stuff. So, it's like, it's good. I know our sellers and teas. Check this out. So I'll put T. See, is it still there? No, Bigelow T, you get money back. Linton T, you got. Yep, here it is. Celestial. I can't say this word. Celestial, however the hell you say it. Seasonings, bag tea, any variety. But you must buy two and you're getting a dollar back. And as you guys know, we're always buying tea. So two is very easy to buy. It's usually what we buy. So see, it will say right here. And I already have it checked. And it says you must buy two, but see, that's the one I usually get. There's also those brands, but I mean, it's still the same, but it's different. So this would be my category because it says any variety. And then you just click it. If you wanted to double check and then it tells you, it says often valid on, you got to buy two of any variety, selected sizes, offer excludes the K-cups and small packs of 10. So you already know you're not going to get the deal on that. But that's why you also scan it. So if you're not showing the store, you see the T, you go, Choo! you scan and it will tell you. It will say offer matched or it will say offer not matched. So it's pretty cool, man. I'm really liking this app. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Especially anytime you can get money back. It's like, what? And especially this house. Oh, my God. We go food shopping. It, it's like that. that's all we ever do is food shopping. It seems like almost every other day I'm ordering something. <laughs> <laughs> free creaminess because you're such a giver you're giving yourself a free it adds up a, like a violent femmes does it now you thought france only had hors d'oeuvres you see how you learn different on the abata app <laughs> the creamy one creepies for everyone <laughs> use amazon okay now that would do a lot and literally you can do that so you put amazon in your search And it helps when you don't spell it Amazon. Okay, so hold on. We just go back to the home page. See, we're back at home. Okay, and I'm going to search right in that little box right there. I'm putting Amazon. And this time we're spelling it correctly. And you see, look what popped up. You see, I got Amazon online shopping. And then you also have this offer. So if you sign up for the Prime. They give you like an extra $20. So if you're not prime, we're already prime members. So I was like, damn it. Why couldn't I get that before we did the prime? <laughs> you're, a, you're a prime Amazon member yourself. Isn't it great? No delivery fees. And you get your items like the next day on some stuff. Awesome. But on here, if you guys don't, you can sign up and you'll get $20 back a month or just, you know, read the little thing how to do it. But literally get that toilet paper ASAP. I know because they're buying it out crazy again. So what I do is I would click on the online Amazon and then it's going to tell you, see, it says what's hot because it always gives you like what's hot. And then you see the categories on top. You can go like, you can just go through things, but it says right here, $20 Amazon gift card with a new prime membership, sign up for one year, get $20 Amazon back. And right now they have 3% back. So if you buy a camera, 5% on fire tablets, 5% off on the fire sticks, 5% back. It's sorry, not off, 5% back. So what you pay, you're going to get 5% back on those purchases, on all this stuff. But let's put toilet paper. <laughs> let's see if there's good deals on toilet paper. No, no offers can be found. And that's just an Amazon. So let's just go home and see if there's anything on toilet paper. Save that money on toilet paper. Okay, so here you go. Now I put it with anything. So all the stores are going to pop up. So right now at Walmart, you'll get 25 cents back on a Scott toilet paper. And it says six count pack or larger. Quilted Northern, you're getting $4 back on that. But you got to buy, it says the Quilted Northern Ultra Soft and Strong Toilet Paper Roll 32 count. And that's available at the Sam's Club. 
uh, cotton all flush and all what flush flushable. I can't talk flushable wipes, 25 cents back that's showing on Walmart and there's only a limit of two. So it doesn't say you have to buy, but you got a limit. So in some of these things, they will give you a limit. And then some like this next one says at the dollar tree. Now check that out. You spend a dollar and you get shit back. You're going to get 50 cents back when you buy the Scotty's facial tissue. Select varieties and any size. There's only three days left on this order and you must buy a total of four. So that's how to get it. So they're like, okay, you're going to spend like $4 and we're going to give you 50 cents back. That's not bad. And then Scotty's triple soft tissue. That one also you get 50 cents back. And that is also just available at the Dollar Tree. So that's everything that pops up in your toilet paper um, by searching. So see what I mean? It takes you to different stores. It seems like um, it seems definitely like Walmart because they've they've uh, they've they've got um, what the fuck is the word I'm looking for? They teamed up with a bunch of brands. That's how they did the free Thanksgiving dinner. So it seems like Walmart is doing a lot of deals. But trust me, there's an Albertsons and Smith's and and Sprouts and Whole Foods. It's everywhere. You just gotta you just gotta see the store you're at or what you want to do, and then look it up. Isn't that so cool? I'm telling you, I want you guys to save. And nine inches, listen to your name. Well, hello, how are you doing? Um, I'm not a baby girl. You can call You can call me Bonnie, that's my name. And you got toilet paper for sale, $5 a square. <laughs> Creepy got you. If you're missing, go out to Cali and get your $5 toilet paper, one square, going fast. And okay, mentions you have been warned, all right? So I'm gonna delete this next comment. You keep continuing, guess what? You're going to be, yeah, you're going to catch that block. So you have been warned, okay? Got you. You've been warned now with your watermelon and all your stuff. Now you got your warning. Okay. Mm, I was going to say, what else do you guys want to look up? So I'll help you with one more so you guys know how to use this app. Because we're at the homepage, so we're not in Walmart. We're nowhere. We're just putting whatever it is. One edible wife said. <laughs> oh, Lord, I know, Michael. Some people just come in and they just see how we're going to be and then they, they figure it out. Otherwise, they get that block. And what did Creamy say? His nose is nine inches because he's a lying player, player himself. All right. So give me another another idea. And there is also wine and beer. So just so you know, there is um, at the gas station. That's usually what those, what those, um, those ways to save. It's always telling you to buy like a beer or like a Red Bull or something like that. Um, that's in that category too. But there's clothing. I mean, there's so many things that you can save on that it's like holy crap. Like I said, I can't even believe when I figured this out and I was like, this is really real, and it really is because it really went into my PayPal and it's real money. You can't handle the liquor like you used to. So it knocks you out nowadays. So you just stay away from it. <laughs> Unless you feel like you want a nightcap and you're like, I need to go to sleep. I think I am going to have a, a little liquor. And cheers to some raspberry zinger. Get yours too and get a dollar coupon. <laughs> get, get a dollar back, man. And usually the tea is only like, I want to say it's like two bucks, two thirty something. So you're really like only spending like a dollar or you're going to buy two. So you're still getting a dollar back. So you're still winning. Whining leads to whining. It does. But we're not whiners over here. We're winners. All right. I am about to get off, though. But just in case uh, you guys wanted to look up one more thing. Let me know, because I'm feeling like I'm feeling like uh, beverages. Since we talked, let's just do beverages and you're going to see. Because there's a lot. Yeah, see, now this one, you got a lot of stuff, all different places. So it starts out at Albertsons. You can buy the Apple and Eve Fruitables, any variety, any size. And you're going to get a dollar back. See, that's at Albertsons. And then you see at Walmart, that like tomato juice kind of thing. You're getting a dollar back. That one's $2.00. See, and you got, and that says Walmart. Then you got Albertsons, Walmart. You see all the, uh, they, there's your Whole Foods. There's CVS. See, check it out. 
see all the places he's telling you and what you can save. And I know some of you buy soda, you buy these packs all the time. Think about the money that you're going to save. All right, Michael. Hasta mañana, because I am. I'm getting ready to say I love you guys, but it is that time. We are going to get off. Your ex offers double coupons. Oh, look at that. And yeah, if you're coupon clippers or you're already coupon shoppers and you got from where you get other coupons from, I mean, think about how much money you really be saving. I mean, I know that takes a lot of time and I know people that do that. I respect you guys, but this app, this, this is the coupon way to go. It cuts out all that. You got to sit here and look. You just look up a thing and then you just see where you want to shop. I usually say what store I'm going to. That's usually how I do it. It's like, okay, are we getting a few things at Albertsons? Let's see what they got on sale today. And there you go. And then you go through your list. And then sometimes you'll buy stuff that you're like, you know what? I really wanted to get that, but it's been so much. And now that I'm going to save a dollar on it, might as well. Sometimes it makes you buy food too because you're like, I've been wanting to try that, but I don't want to spend $7 on that damn thing. It's only going to be $3. Okay, that's good. And Taz, are you back? Tell Brady you said hi. <clears throat> Creamy. And thanks for the app. You're in a hotel. Okay, good. Yeah, Ali, I'm telling you, it's going to help you. You're going to save. You just have to, um, you just keep looking. And like I said, there's also the one that says any brands. So that means anything you buy. Any brand of what? Like, for example, the reason why I said that just popped up on my phone. So I'm in Albertsons right now, and it says a frozen breakfast item. Any frozen breakfast breakfast item that I get. So if they don't have a brand, you can save money, and then you can double it because you can get 10 cents. Big 10 cents back. See? Even on bread. See how it's saying, like, any brand? 10 cents. And then you see a Butterball turkey? There's one free when you join the app with my link, but right now you also get $2 off on a frozen turkey. So there's a bunch of stuff. I'm telling you, the list goes on, man. The list goes on on this thing. It's like almost makes it fun to go shopping. It's like, what can I get on sale? <laughs> All right. So again, guys, I'm going to put the link in. I'm going to do the whole uh, copy and paste thing. So you guys have it. And then I'm going to say, I love you guys. And I will see you again tomorrow. Okay, but hold on. Let's see. Okay, and let me delete this. Okay. Free Thanksgiving dinner. And you guys get it. There's so much more stuff, but there's your link. Boom, it's there again. All right, so click on it. Enjoy. It's completely free too. So it's not like you're signing up to any you know, trial. It's not like, okay, if you do this for 30 days, then they're going to start charging you. No, I wouldn't get you guys involved with something like that. I would not do that to you. I would tell you the fine print. The fine print is you can make money and it goes right into your PayPal. So you don't even have to worry about giving credit card information or bank information. You can do it that way. I, like I said, I feel safer right now because I still am exploring this app with the PayPal because I've seen that that actually goes in and you get a cash out after every $20 you save. So happy shopping, but remember already because you're using my link and I'm a member, you're already going to, I think it's like for people that sign up, you get to, I'm still confused about the whole, when people sign up, you get $10. I think they actually have to go through with the thing. So I'm still trying to see how people have already signed up on it, like how that is earned. So I'm not, I'm not completely sure how that works. I just know you get real money back and you will get a free Thanksgiving dinner like about 10 items. So happy shopping. I love you guys so much. Remember, don't skip those commercials when they pop up 30 seconds out of your life. Just wait patiently. Remember, not just me, other YouTubers. Remember also thumbs up before you exit. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I am happy again to say that our Steelers once again, be positive to not the negative. There's no negative because we are nine and oh, and it feels so amazing. I love you guys so much. Remember, keep that smile on your safe. Uh, keep the smile on your safe. <laughs> keep that smile on your face. Please make sure you're social distancing. You're masking up. Get your wake the hell up merchandise. It's right up above in the link that is pinned. Support, support, support. Get your wake the hell up mask and support and show the people to wake the hell up in so many ways or one. I love you guys so much. I will see you again tomorrow. Okay. It will. This isn't the Wake the Hell Up playlist for everybody that catches up on the episodes. Let me get the, the thing ready. Not to start 
uh, doing stuff on its own, opening up other apps, but opening up our intro. That is now our outro. Because I love you guys so much. Hugs, come on, bring it in. Oh, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. All right. And Mia and anybody else that needs that extra energy, we got you. We love you. And Mia, for sure, you're going to wake up. You will. You're going to wake the hell up back up, and then you're going to be like, I'm here. That's what's going to happen. We love you. All right. It's my morning show. Wake the hell up. Wake the hell up. It's your girl, Bonnie Mercado. It's my day to 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. And yes, you're going to get a treat as soon as I'm done. <laughs> the smile is always on your safe, right? I'm censored. I'm cut. I'm filtered. You gotta love the non editing. Woo! real. The best family anybody could ever have. And when you're a Steelers fan, you know it makes even better. And wake the hell up. And you know what? The smile will be on your safe. Because the Ibotta app is like your safe. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys. We should be on time tomorrow. Let's pray it makes me gay and do something else. So wake the hell up with me. Monday through Friday. Wake the hell up! Ow! I knew my baby. Come here. Okay, you're going to get a treat. Come here. But see, you got to do it to the family before I hit the button. Come on. They want to see that face. That pretty face. Look at that. See, now look at the resemblance. Just look at that. No, no, no. You keep, you keep doing it. Don't, look. See, don't, don't they look alike? <laughs> that looks like you. All right, guys. I love you 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 guys.